Hi. Hello. Did y'all know that to evolve Inkay in Pokemon Go, you need to turn your phone upside down? Now you know. You're welcome. You're welcome for that. Hi, Exitious. Hi, Louie. Hi, Callus. I involved an NK today on my walk. Dude, I just realized I don't have a Grumpig yet. This is messed up. I don't know how. Hi, Twin. Twin, you want to play twos? I got Spoink. Um, I'm sixteen fifty three. What's stopping you from doing it now, Christina? Get in there. I still add me on Pokemon Go. I still send gifts to people and stuff. I send gifts to like Ivan, Shalee, Brayden, Beckage play sometimes. Am I still that high? I check this every once in a while. It's always someone always reminds me. 54 in wins, no big deal. 85 in goals, no big deal. Not MVPs. Se six in saves? At my peak, I, so I was like number four, I think. It's falling off. 26 in shots, 63 in assists. Yeah, it's no big deal. It's whatever. You don't play anymore? Honestly, like, if you don't play Pokemon Go still, I would recommend playing it. Like, it's, like, actually pretty fun. Like, Pokemon Go is one of those games where, like, you hop on for, like, I don't know, like, 10, 15 minutes. You play a little bit, do do a couple of your your challenge things, and you're good. That's how I look at it. Bro, I think I think the new iOS update has made my phone like laggy. No joke. This shit's horrible. Yeah, yeah, let's play a Val game real quick. I'm down. Who wants to queue up Val? Sunset's not bad. Sunset, I like Sunset when I played. Hi, Cal. That's a hi, Cal, already. Yeah, I got a three star Malamar today. It's not really a big deal, but like it's a pretty big deal to me, at least, you know? I'm so good at Pokemon Go. Um... You have a laptop, you're so rich. This is the new controller I got. It's the white one. It's the basic white one. You switch to PS4 again? Bro, what is... Do you... What? Why?
is an Elden Ring type of night. I was considering starting with Elden Ring, but I decided I wanted to play a little bit of Rocket League first. PS4 controller is just simply not better than PS5 controller. I'm just keeping it real with you. Dude, that's got to be one of the biggest mental placebos I've ever seen in my entire life. You're more mechy on PS4, but ground mechy on PS5. That is like some Justin changing his fucking in-game PFP because he feels slow at certain PFPs. That's fucking Justin changing his name because he feels slow at certain names. It's a fucking controller. You mean you feel more mechy on the ground in one? And more mechy in the air on the other. I'm going to slap you upside the fucking head. P like, PS4 is not a bad controller. I used it for a while. PS5 is just better. Hi, Hannah. I know. I Like I said, I was considering starting out with Elden Ring. But... I was like, damn, I, I should play some Rocket League. Well, not should. I kind of wanted to. But. I don't know how long I'll play. Bro, I'm. T I don't think y'all understand. I'm like too addicted to Elden Ring. It's really bad. Like. I've been streaming way... Bro, I literally had an appointment at 1.30 a.m. Sorry, p.m. And I played Elden Ring until fucking 9 a.m., dude. <laughs> That's so bad. That's so bad. I'm too addicted. I should get addicted to Val? I Honestly, bro... I'm sure when I hop back on Val, I'm sure I'll be like, oh, this is actually pretty fun. Hopefully. I hope I think that, but I guess we'll see. Let's go back to swag server. Are y'all rocking with the banner border combo? Are y'all rocking with the combo? Tell me what we think. I think they go together pretty good. Oh, wait. We're get Dude, how funny would it be for the, the... No, the first time I play Val in, like, months. You rocking with this? The first time I play Val in months, it's gonna have, like... It's gonna have some AFK teammate, and then he's gonna come back not say sorry, then start calling me slurs. It looks so... It's, it fits... I mean, dude, it, like, literally fits Freerun. It would be so much better with, like, some color, though. I haven't worn my, S my SSL tags in a while. Do you think this would look better with pink or silver? Mm, I feel like this the white might match it better. Pink is gay? What? There should be a player in the a gun cocking sound. That would be so annoying. Yeah, I think I think the silver the silver like white matches that better. That's so Okay, Tommy doesn't go hard as fuck. Yes. Just because I'm so nice, for everyone here, I'll put a song request in for you. That's gas. That's so good. Honestly, Christina, I'm down. I gotta play tournaments more often. Like I'm, I'm like genuinely down. Is there any tonight? Or are we gonna have to wait till tomorrow? I really am. I'm such a benevolent leader. Wait. 
Song request might be working today. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It says it's green connected. Hold on, hold on. This could be huge. It says it's connected, but I don't know. Um, come on. Hi, Eclipse. Me when I fart. <laughs> Wait, what? What was the lead up to that? Oh, it it no longer says it's connected. This shit is so ass, bro. You said that's gas. Oh, is that what when you fart you go? Oh, that's gas. Anyone have song requests? Hi, Jim. Anyone have any more song requests? I'll put in before I start playing some more. Of course, Kyle would request some shit like this. You're so gay. I'm doing okay. How are you doing? Okay, I added linoleum. What are the allegations? Why are you ass? Anything else? Anyone else have any songs to put in before I start playing again? Yeah, I think you know exactly what I mean. My allegations are just that I'm gay. That song's not popping up. Okay, I added it. Okay. Bite Me, That's a Good Song by Avril Lavigne. What do you mean, no, you don't? I said exactly what I meant. I couldn't have been any more clear. Bite Me by who? AJ? Okay. All right, I just put in everybody's songs that they said in chat. Can I elaborate? I mean, what needs to be elaborated on? You're an F word. It's literally in your name. AJ from Rocket League? No, I don't think that guy makes music. I think he just plays Rocket League. Bro, I we, we were literally just playing twos yesterday. I'm not joking. We were just literally sitting there playing, vibing, having a great time, having some good times and laughs. And Callus just goes, I got something up my butt. No joke. They just said it. Literally no reason. That's That is literally exactly what you said. Oh, sorry. I got stuff up my butt is what they said. I apologize. My fault. The fuck does this loser want? The fuck do you want? What allegations? What are you talking about? Not only that. They also mentioned, uh, in this same time period, 
they also mentioned uh, that they kind of get it. And they were referring to Vor. <laughs> I am not letting that slide. Why are you in here again? <laughs> that shit was crazy. <laughs> oh yeah, Callus and I also watched three episodes of Ping Pong the Animation. It's pretty it seems pretty cool so far. I can't lie. It's like a really cool like stylistic. Oh, also, oh, oh, guess what? Guess what? I I started Violet Evergarden yesterday before I went to bed. I watched episode 1. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Why did nobody tell me Violet Evergarden was so fucking beautiful? Oh yeah, dude, there's- whenever fucking Kong speaks, there's no subtitles. Like, everyone else is dubbed except Kong and his, uh, coach. So, uh, it's just uninterrupted Mandarin for like a minute straight and I have no idea what the fuck he's saying. I- I- I'm like, what- what the fuck am I supposed to be getting here? Hey, this song's pretty good. I think I know the person that made this one. Wait, you haven't finished it? It's so short. Why didn't you just finish it? Dude, so apparently the order you're supposed to watch it is... I looked it up because there was, like, a lot of content associated with it. So you watch up to episode four, and then you watch the special, because apparently the special takes place between four and five. And then you finish the anime. And then there's uh, one movie... And then there's like Violet Evergarden, the movie, which has like a conclusion. So that's the order I'm going to watch it. I want it to make me cry. I heard it's an anime that's a tearjerker and that got me excited. I love, I love stuff that makes me cry. Watch a one piece. I want to cry. Animes like that don't really make me cry. Like I never cried watching like Naruto or Dragon Ball or anything. Or like Bleach. I don't know. Animes like that struggle to have any like seriously like sad emotional moments. Really? Wait, what's the series rated at? Because, like, dude, the animation and, like, the art style, it's so beautiful. I was like, oh, my God. And it was made, I mean, not not like it's old, but it was made six years ago. I'm excited. What, where are they supposed to be? Like, what location are they supposed to be in? You cry at the end of Good Omens. I've uh, I've never heard of that. Well, eventually I, I'm gonna be getting through my anime list, and then I'll have then I'll have no excuse but to watch One Piece. England. The city names did not seem English. Hold on. Search it up. Good omens. Oh, it's not an anime. It's a series. Fantasy comedy. Hold on. Dude. I But, like, Violet Evergarden is one of those animes where I've only watched episode one. But I'm already like, damn, I'm going to enjoy this. Like, I know I'm going to enjoy this. 
What the hell, Christina, you fucking pig? Where does Violet Evergarden take place? Violet Ever uh Violet Evergarden takes place in Leiden Schaftiklitsch, a fictional country with a Victorian feel. And in the 19th century, around the time World War II began. Like, is this is this story like if the Nazis won? Like, I'm so confused. Bro, tell me why I got like a fucking five minute Brawl Stars ad on my YouTube of some motherfucker riding around like a dinosaur with some music playing. You don't like anime? You should try it. That's Draco. <laughs> oh, is that? Oh, that's Kent. Oh, that's Kent. Oh, he rides his dragon. Sick and tired of these fucking... Sick and tired of these, um... Dustin users. Ugh. Bro, oh, by the way, look what Levi did to me today. Look what that piece of shit did to me. He was playing with me. But he was playing with his claws out and he scratched me. That little piece of shit. All anime is anime. No, it's not. What the hell? There's so many different kinds of animes. Do you think I like animes like that? Do I look like someone that would enjoy animes like that? Because I don't. Stop trauma dumping? What the fuck? He attacked me. He was vicious. Hello, Mungwell. You just unlocked... G <laughs> oh, dude. You just I just unlocked Donald in Brawl Stars. Same here. No, I'm not throwing up gang signs. Look. Fuck, how do I? Look at my finger. Look what Levi did to me. He attacked me viciously. He was playing with his nails out like a little asshole. Oh, boo-hoo. Let me play a sad song okay. for you. I'm the world's smallest violin. Okay, that's messed up. Okay, that's freaking messed up. Kid named Finger. Ah, uh, Finger. What? Hi, Tra. Did I just say Donald? Yeah, I mean, did you not unlock Donald? Me, personally, I just unlocked my new main, Garrett. He's so good. Anime is not your type. There are like 58,000 different kinds of animes. Anime is not one thing. I promise you there's an anime that exactly is something that you would enjoy. You unlocked... <laughs> you unlocked Raul. He was 500 coins. <laughs> That's such a that's a tweet, Callus. <laughs> Brayden said that. Does Shalene not trim his claws? Yeah, but cats like cats like play. No matter what, if a cat plays with their fucking claws out, and you're gonna get scratched. Normally, they're not assholes, and they keep their claws inside of them, or retracted. But this little fucking piece of shit decided to play with them out. Oh. 
I hope Levi attacks you at the throat. Shlee definitely does not trim his nails every two weeks. That's for fucking sure. I know she trims them, but definitely not that often. What anime do you think I would like? It's, it's so hard. Like, it's so hard to give a starting anime. Like, what, what's your favorite genre of like show in general? Would you say? No. Yeah, start with One Piece. It's only like 1,100 episodes right now and probably has 100 more to come. It's so mixed around. Well, just give me some options. Like, anime is not a genre. Anime is like an art style. Or not like... It's not even an art style. Anime is like just... I mean, I guess it's kind of an art style where it's produced, all that stuff. Like, anime encompasses like every genre. Hank main. Oh, by the way, we're listening to the new Tekka album. Cordelius. Okay, you're gonna fucking come at me saying I'm like just saying random names, making shit up, but then Callus says fucking Cordelius. Oh yeah, you know I'm gonna fucking be using Hornswoggle. That's my next main, I think. <laughs> That's so crazy. Well, Levi's nails are sharp as fuck. I tell you what, Emmanuel. Jacoby is going to be unlockable in the June battle pass. Oh, why June exactly? Can you explain to me why June? Hi. <laughs> Yo, Hyperdinger! Just unlocked Curious George. Damn. His sidekick is man in the yellow suit, hat. What's his name again? Anyone unlock D's yet? Anyone unlock D's in Brawl Stars yet? Um, honestly, What's a, what's a really good starter anime for someone who's into fantasy and stuff? I mean, like, Freerun is so good. I think Freerun is really good, but, like... Do we think Freerun's a good starting anime? I kind of think it is. I used to love Curious George when I was younger. JJK is really good, that's true. But JJK is more, I mean, JJK is like fantasy, but it's more like fighting. High school DXD? Shut the fuck up. Eclipse, do you like fantasy stuff? Like stuff like that has like elves and and like all, like fantasy beings like that. Like there's like dragons and magic and stuff. Yeah, this is a callous song. Bro, the fact that animes like that one exist, Brayden, like, every, I've already said this before. Everyone who worked on that should be arrested. Okay, you should watch Furin Eclipse. I promise you, it's not about um, anime girls with big boobs having sexy sex scenes. It's actually awesome because Freerin is one of like, Freerin is like one of the few anime that I've seen that has fem uh, female protagonists, women protagonists, and they're awesome. They're so, they're so like written well. They're written well, they're great characters, and they're just like awesome. Like, I don't know.
You know, if you watch it, you should. It, it's only 28 episodes right now. So, 28 episodes, they're like 20 minutes each. Your head kind of hurts. It's because you have so much knowledge up in there. If your head hurts, you definitely should sleep. At least close your eyes. Remember when Butters had an emote that was just like the N-word? Well, if you do end up watching Freerin, you should tell me because it's really good. It's like my second favorite anime of all time. You haven't even gooned yet? I'm a disappointed parent. All right, I'm ready to get in there. Let's do it. I'm going to queue some. I'm going to go live on YouTube, though. Oh, wait. Anyone have any more songs to put in while I'm tabbed out of Rocket League? Hi, Salty. Hi, Shamzo. Hello. Oh, okay. Tekka album. Uh, uh. Unless, unless y'all want to listen to the Tekka album. Hi, Wood. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I don't know. Just wash your hair whenever you feel like it needs to be washed. You don't have to, like, pick days to wash it. I mean, like, I guess I do have a... I wash my hair on Sundays and whenever it needs to be washed. I'm tired, you're bored as hell, but don't but don't do two good things yesterday. You've done two what'd you do? You should not be washing your hair every day, like in general. Like at the minimum, at the maximum, you should be washing your hair like every other day or some shit. Unless you like have a specific like hair issue or something. Unless you have like a, okay, I'm going to put your song in, by the way. I just put Coming Home on. It was just playing. Damn, you beat Sekiro W. Well, Exitious, that is, I can almost... I can almost assuredly say that that is only happening because you wash your hair every day. Like you have yourself in an infinite cycle where your hair is doing that because you've locked it in like that. Yeah. Like, hold on. I got you. This is, dude, this is something that I learned way too late into my life too. Hold on. Look at this. Bro. Rossi generally tells his patients they should wash their hair once or twice per week. Every other day to once a week for medium textured hair every two to four days. Like, bro, you should not be washing your hair every day. Generally, it's recommended to wash your hair two to three times a week. Like, bro, I'm telling you, like, you you should be washing your hair less. Like, your hair and head will be healthier if you wash your hair less. 
bro, I used to wash my hair every single day, and I used to wonder why my hair would, like, my head would be dry and, like, flaky and shit sometimes. Immediately, I'm telling you, once I found out, once I found out that you're supposed to wash your hair less, my hair, in, in a couple of weeks, my hair was back to, like, being, like, my hair was, like, way healthier, way, like, less dry, no flaky, everything. Like, you need to... What is this? It's fine to go a few days without shampooing. Professional hairstylist. Shampooing too often may lead to hair that's less than lush. Shampoo traps oils. Who should shampoo daily? The experts agree. Only a small, a small group needs to shampoo daily, like those with very fine hair, someone who exercises a lot, or someone who lives in a very humid place. Like, even if you're washing your head every day, you definitely should not be shampooing every day. No, Bez, I love you. You and your friend exposed the pedo? Okay, that's a W. Hopefully they actually get, like, banned and fucking whatever from wherever. Either way, you probably shouldn't be washing your hair every day. Unless you're, like, sweating a lot every day. Do you have value? Yeah. Well, I mean... I don't know. I mean, obviously, it's your own hair and your own head health. I don't know what your head looks like. It's just, like, generally, like, what a lot of people and, like, hair people I've seen say is, like, the reason your hair gets so, so oily and stuff so quick sometimes is because, because you wash it so often, you've, like, trained your hair to be that way where if you actually are washing it a more healthy amount and not shampooing as much your hair like will naturally be trained to not be as oily or whatever as quick okay w wood that's awesome that's a really good thing Yeah, like, hair is one of those things that you can, like, train. Mwah! Yeah, I used to wash my hair every single day until I learned how to take care of it properly. And my hair health has never been better. Like, I shampoo, like, two times a week. I condition two to three times a week. And I have a hair mask. What's up, X2? How are you? It's okay, Wood. No worries. I appreciate you coming by when you can. What do you mean? You're trying to scam me, Beza? Skincare routine is so easy, Callus. I promise. I'm exposing myself. Bro, you're literally if you if you are washing your hair every day, you're exposing yourself. You're, like, literally destroying your scalp and your hair. Your hair is not meant to be shampooed every day. Scam G? Has he been streaming? Conditioning? I don't think you need to condition every day, either. You should probably be conditioned. Like, if you're cleaning your head more often, you should be conditioning more than shampooing, that's for sure.
Hi, Marty. Oh, yeah, absolutely you should be conditioning. What the fuck? You should already be shampooing and conditioning. The fuck? Is, is your head the fucking Sahara Desert? Sounds good, Louie. Conditioning is definitely necessary. Shampooing is stripping your hair of oils and condi conditioning is like kind of restoring them. You only use soap three times a week. Yeah, no, your skin is not your head. That's different. You should be, you should be probably showering every day and using soap. Can we play? Probably not, my friend. Speaking of that, I'm gonna hop in a rank now. <laughs> That's some shit that like Mar would do. Like, most of the time, like, if I'm not cleaning my hair, I just tie my hair up like I have it, like, right now, pretty much. I do, like, a top bun so my hair doesn't get wet, and then we move. I did not know how to... I did not know, like, proper hygiene shit. When I was younger, that's for fucking sure. When I, dude, when I was younger, I'm pretty sure I like unironically used like a, a two in one or three in one. I was like, oh, let's work for me, huh? Seems easy. Hi, Layla. How are you? I don't even, I don't know if it was a three in one or a two in one or whatever. It was definitely like, I, from what I can remember, it was like, it was like some head and shoulders shit. I appreciate that, Layla. Thank you. How are you doing tonight? I'll be honest. I still use... Um, I still use Axe body spray. It smells really good. You can't use too much, though. I still use Old Spice on my pits and then Axe Body Spray as gas. I'll be honest, some, some of the scents smell really good. You're high as fuck? W? Bong rip or joint? You don't use deodorant sticks anymore? Or do you use like spray deodorant or whatever? Deodorant balm? The fuck is deodorant balm? Am I behind on the time using deodorant sticks? Anyway, what do you mean? Axe? Dude, there are some scents of axe that like genuinely smell good. Hello? What, do you fucking like only use cologne or some shit? I don't shower in it like a fucking teenage boy. John Pork. Gummies? Ooh, gummies are always nice. 
What about the bong? I was just asking Layla about how she how she smoked. You can smell any Axe deodorant. Not deodorant. I use Old Spice deodorant. I use Old Spice. Well, right now I have Fiji. And then... Um... I don't know what the scent of the axe is called, but it's, it's like good. Okay. What's up, hugs? You can die happy. What's up, hugs? I'm going to sneeze. Axe is terrible. There's some axe that's not bad. Bro, like, the reason y'all are, th like, having these, like, stereotypes about axe is because you're thinking about, like, the teenage boys that, like, fucking shower in axe. That's the problem. If you're using a fucking gallon of it. Bro, I'm telling you. Wait. Pap and Pape? Holy shit. This was destined to be. Shums up. Probably smelled good as shit. You're sad? Why are you sad? I don't I don't know what deodorant balm is. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. If I'm like not going out anywhere and I'm just gonna be like staying home, I don't even like use deodorant. Like what's the point? <laughs> like I don't care. I don't really smell. The only times I smell is if I'm gonna if I like work out or I get like sweaty or something. How is that a self-report? What's the point of using... What's the point of using deodorant if I'm literally just staying home? I don't really... Like, I don't really smell unless I'm working out or sweating or something. So why use deodorant? What's up, Caleb? How is that not valid? Bro, you're smelling good for... How fucking bad do you stink or you need deodorant when you're just at home alone? Levi bit me because I smelled like shit. What the fuck? That's crazy. Like, nah. Like, okay. If you're, like, a really stinky person, I guess I can get it. But, like, I don't... I, I don't really smell unless I'm, like, sweating or something. Like... If I'm just going to be sitting here at home and, like, I don't know, like, Shalice not coming over and I'm not going to be, like, seeing anyone, why the fuck am I going to, like, be trying to make myself smell good for myself? What do you gain from not putting it on? Uh, I gain the fact that I'm not pointlessly using deodorant. Save more deodorant. Save more deodorant. Spend less money. And also, like, deodorant's not, like, the best thing for your skin. Like Bright was saying. So, I don't also overput it on every single day. Murder Drones Episode 7. What? I mean, like... Like, if I'm going anywhere, if I'm, like, going out, then obviously I use deodorant. But if I'm not, there's literally no point. Why am I wearing makeup? I'm, I'm not... 
Thanks, though. Do you not want to smell good for yourself? Bro, I don't smell myself. Clearly exists. Oh. Oh, that's a rocket league goal right there. What's up, Daniel? No joke. If you use deodorant too often, that leads to you being smellier more often. You understand that, right? Classic Callus. Can you run twos together? Nah, sorry. Let's grind some ranked right now. All right, look at this. What level am I? Almost 10,000. Look at this. <sighs> um Excess deodorant can clog your pores, cause irritation, redness, and even infection. Okay. I mean, actually, I've, I've seen some people have that, but. Like, the the type of deodorant that people be using, like the stick stuff, like, it's not even like an antiperspirant most of the time. Thank you, Tricapri. I appreciate you. Hey, let's go, Objective. I'd love to hear that. Take my like. Hey, thanks for the like. If you're on YouTube, don't forget to drop a like and sub. I agree, Existus, except the first song where he was saying he can turn shorty straight and that made me cringe a little bit listen motherfuckers i'm not saying to to like forego hygiene products do you know who you're talking to but specifically something like Something like smelling good for yourself doesn't really serve a hygienic purpose unless you fucking stink. I shower and clean myself every single day. I don't really stink unless I'm doing like a heavy exercise.
I'm glad it exists at least sees reason. Damn. Antiperspirant is a must. I don't know if antiperspirant's like bad for you though, is it? Wait, did Tekka actually drop a hawk to a bar? Ain't no fucking way. Hawk Tua memes are going to become dated so fast. I heard him say hawk, but I like to lie. That's so gross. I hate that a lot. Oh, wait. You were saying... Oh. I thought you were saying he made a bar. Like, with that as the line. But you're saying you like to lie. Okay. Okay. Gorm, do you want me to drop my pants, bro? It's a Rocket League stream, you fucking freak. Stop being weird. Switch platforms. Welcome to YouTube. What did Gorm say? Why are you wearing, wearing makeup? Are you trans? Are you male or female? Then why am I wearing makeup? Uh, again, I'm not. I already answered that. Like, I'm sorry that you think I look so pretty that I'm wearing makeup, but I'm not. What's up, Dominic? How are you? I'm doing okay. <laughs> bro just won't take... Bro just won't take no for an answer. Winning a lot today. I've only played two games, I think. And I've won one and I've lost one. So, I mean, I must be using some sort of skin product. Yeah, it's called Moisturizer. What's up, Jax? How are you? I wash my skin and moisturize my skin every single day. That's like very basic hygiene. That's weird. Dude, I can fucking smell you through the screen. Jesus Christ. Hi, Mats. Have a shower moisturizers for females. Bro, why do so many guys just not know, like, basic hygiene? That's, like, really gross. What the hell is wrong with... Who the hell is teaching teaching guys this shit? Like, having basic hygiene is, is like, is gay or something. The stinkiest motherfuckers. What's up, Nova? It's up, Hades. Thanks for the follow on Twitch. I appreciate that. I score these? Yeah. What's up, G-Trip? 
if you shower, then you're washed. Literally. Just let the water wash you. Soap is for females. Being healthy is only for women. If you shower, you're gay. <laughs> I just know Gorm is afraid to wash his ass because that would make him gay. Cleaning the poop between your cheeks is gay because then you're getting real close to your butthole. L clip farm? <laughs> what the fuck do you mean? I just scored a goal. Aw, oh, shit. Not for everyday hygiene? Bro, your skin is probably fucking dry and begging for some moisture. Motherfuckers never moisturize their skin and think just because their skin isn't like flaking off, it means that they're good. I remember I had a conversation with King Puke about bidets. He's like, nah, bro. I... Bidets are, like, kind of gay. He didn't say that with word for word, but, like, he did. <laughs> I just like smearing the poop with toilet paper. That's better. You don't like Andrew Tate? Who the fuck mentioned Andrew Tate? Bidet are gay as fuck for sure. Yeah, so true. It like cleans your butt. It like cleans your butt and makes it so like you don't have poop on your butthole. That's pretty gay in my opinion. Honestly, like what's the point of even cleaning your ass unless you're gonna get your ass fucked? Like, who cares? Like, I'm not, like, you're not getting your ass fucked unless you're gay, right? So why even clean it? Bidets are literally used in, like, every country in the world besides America because we're so fucking stupid. We have so many dumb fucks that think, like, cleaning your ass is gay that, like, we don't use bidets here. It's really fucking dumb. It's just, like, objectively a better way. To be more hygienic and clean yourself. That's why you shower after. What do you think a bidet basically is? A bidet is literally a butt shower. You trying to date Zimpology? No, was that already in, bro? I think that might have already been going in. It was close. Oh. Whoever somehow is convinced, guys, that being hygienic is, like, feminine or gay needs to be locked up in jail forever. We gotta find that motherfucker and 
lock him away. There's a difference between spraying your ass. Where are you being like? Are, I thought you were being sarcastic. Are you being serious? They're scared that it'll feel good to use a bidet. Bro, like, how do you, how do people clean their ass in the shower? I don't understand. Like, are you not letting water get to your butt in the shower? Like, I, I don't, I really don't get it. A bidet is literally a butt shower. If you're not using a bidet, then you're literally just smearing poop on your ass. That's disgusting. Sorry. As a straight man, I'd rather have a bidet than leaving a toilet paper. Looking like China's flag after Infinity Wipe. But damn, why is your ass fucking... Why is your ass bleeding? Bruh, don't clean his ass. You wear a plastic bag for that reason. No water allowed there. Bro, bro, like, if... Dude, I'm not joking. If you are not fucking soaping up your butt your crack and everything and and you're not spreading your cheeks open to make sure water gets in there then you're not cleaning your ass right i don't know who needs to hear this i don't know who needs to hear this but if you are not turning around and spreading your cheeks and letting water get inside your ass crack you're not cleaning your ass right i'm begging you please please clean your ass right do not be fucking disgusting Dude, brights, people just be saying shit. I'm pretty, thanks. Please shut the fuck up and stop talking about it. Oh, we have another not ass cleaner here. I don't, Emmanuel, sorry. You spread your shit wide when you shower. The thing I don't like about baby wipes or the flushable wipes is one, you're going to be wasting way more money. Unless it's just something that you take on the go, I guess. If, like, you have to go poop, like, away from your house. Um, but... Baby wipes and flushable wipes, like, even if it says they're flushable, like, they're not really flushable. They can still... They can still, like, fuck with plumbing. Unfortunately. So, bidets are better for your wallet. Probably better for your hygiene. And better for the environment. W's all around. That's so crazy he went for that. Spawn, spawn, spawn. Down. Okay. A chair being sold with crazy shit stains? Ew. Why were there shit stains on a chair? Was blood just taking a poop and then sitting on the chair? <laughs> Did blood take a poop and then just sit on the chair? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> uh. 
slightly used office chair is crazy. What's up, Michael? It's going pretty good. How are you doing tonight? Let me look at it. I'm going to assume I probably shouldn't show it on stream, though. Marry me? No. Sorry. What's up, Nicholas? Okay. Damn. Oh, I should not have jumped for this. That was very silly. How's the grind? It's going pretty good. You curse my future children. I don't plan on having kids. Sorry. You just curse my future children because I didn't want to marry you? What the hell? What the hell, Gim? That's a callous level chat. Oh my god, of course he fucking whiffs. Game's not looking too hot, I can't lie. Damn. Or Best advice for someone only freestyles? I don't know. You don't have to just like focus on your, your gameplay more. Focus on like actually trying to win and not just mechanics. That's a tough game. What's up, Arath? Thanks for the sub. I don't think my teammate is that bad. It's a tough game. Yo, let's go. Pops versus Pape. Um, hobbies outside of gaming? Um, let's see. I like to... I've been recently getting back into watching um, football. American football. I mean... I can't really say I watch baseball or basketball all that much to bro. So I'm not gonna count those. Um I like going for walks or runs, doing a little bit of exercise. I try to go for a walk or a run or some form of exercise like every day. Um Pokemon would be considered gaming, so uh I like I like watching horror movies. That's definitely something I enjoy. I've watched quite a bit. I need to watch more though. That's crazy, Eclipse. Yeah, Jacoby Brissett is really fucking bad, unfortunately. I, I sense Drake May. I sense Drake May will be starting quite soon. The Patriots offensive line is just dog meat. Oh yeah, Gim, what do you do for work? People saying Drake May might be starting by like week five or week six.
Or who is this I am Mr. Pigeon person? That's awesome, Goku Black. Let's freaking go. Actually, a pee here. Late Night with the Devil? No. The most recent horror movie? Well, not really a horror movie. It's called, like, Alone. But it was more like a thriller. I guess some people might consider it horror. It was, like, maybe a couple, like, creepy moments and, like, jump scare-ish. But... I'm looking forward to Terrifier 3. Any other Terrifier 3... Any other Terrifier fans? Play Val? Hell nah. It'll be working hopefully next month. What are you gonna do? Never seen it. Terrifier is one of those horror movies that is... It definitely has some some jump scares and some some creepy moments, but it's like, it is um, it is definitely more so hearkening back to like slasher vibes, like those slasher vibes where it's super gory, super over the top violence. It's like what? So if that's the kind of horror movie you like, then you would like Terrifier. Last time you heard, I had short hair and a beard. Damn, that was like fucking four years ago then. You haven't been here for a long time. I need to focus. I'm like, I'm like, uh, focusing on chat too much right now. Losing, losing focus. The newest Michael Myers. I never saw any of those. I should. Like, I feel like in in my in my horror, like I've only become a horror fan like relatively recently, so I haven't really seen many of like the OG horror movies. Like. I've seen some of them, but not nearly enough. Like, I've seen, like, Leprechaun. I've seen Child's Play. I've seen Scream. I've seen... Um, I've seen Alien. That was really good. I thought Alien was a, was a great movie. Um, like, I've seen some of the classics, or some stuff that people would consider classics, but... I need to watch more. Oh. Fast food would suck. I feel like fast food wouldn't be horrible depending on your, the location, no? If it's like super busy all the time, that would probably not be great. I think like some fast food places pay decent, I'm pretty sure. Oh. I imagine it's not like the most thrilling, but I know there's some people that work fast food and they say they don't mind it at all. And you probably get some free food. Obviously, it wouldn't be great for you food, but you can probably get like the healthier stuff there. Like just like chicken or something, depending on where you are. What's up, JT Brandon? Hello. Hi, Majid. Hello. Oh, true. Dude, thank you for reminding me. Um... The only film left that I haven't seen directed by Ari Aster that's currently out um, is Bo is Afraid. I've seen Hereditary. I loved it. Hereditary is one of my favorite horror movies ever. That's a classic. That's like a newer one. That's why I wasn't mentioning it. 
Um, I also recently watched Midsommar. Is it Midsummer or Midsommar? It doesn't matter. I watched that one um, recently. Like, I think it was over the summer with Shlee. It was good. I mean, honestly, I didn't like Midsommar as much as I liked Hereditary, but I thought it was still really enjoyable. Still, still, still a pretty good movie. Trippy. Wait, what do you mean I'm so out of touch with reality? Like, I'm not saying like a fast food, like what, what, like, what job in that realm it would be fun or awesome? Not, not many. Fast food job would probably be easy to get hours, especially for a younger person. Easy to get hours, get paid and whatever. Dude, like, I don't know. I feel like most starting jobs are gonna suck ass. I, w I washed dishes for like four years. That shit fucking sucked. You worked at a Canes? They worked you to the bone? I mean, yeah, I'm not surprised to hear that. Bo is Afraid was weird but interesting. I want to watch it. been good JT how you been a long time to see in stream wolfman oh my god yeah dude my sleep schedule has been bad pretty much my whole life so I would have to be at my high school by I think like 7 30 a.m and I would be so that means I would have to wake up like if I wanted to actually be on time, I had to wake up around like 6.30 if I wanted to like actually like get up, you know, brush my teeth, eat breakfast, get my stuff ready and get to school on time. So I would have to be waking up at like 6.30 and I would be going to bed at like 1 a.m. or 2 a.m. way too often and I would just be really tired. I would go to sleep in class and that trend unfortunately continued in college where... I would, <laughs> I would purposely sit in like the back of lecture halls. I would purposely sit in the back of lecture ha uh, halls and I would go to sleep. <laughs> I would show up for attendance and I would fall asleep. I was like the worst kickoff that ever could have happened. Watch the trailer on stream. I'll get copyrighted, unfortunately. Can I speak Tagalog? No. When I was working, I was working as a dishwasher for like eight, nine hours straight, and I was only getting paid 10 bucks an hour. That shit sucked. But guess what? Guess what? When I was working as a dishwasher, I was able to save up enough money to buy my Xbox One. It was it was the first my Xbox One was the first big purchase I ever made for myself in my entire life and I felt very good about it because it was all my own money. I worked as a dishwasher for how many hours is that? Ten dollars an hour. Xbox One was like, I think it was like five hundred bucks, like five fifty or something. I think it was, it was like five four ninety nine, plus tax. We'll just say five fifty. It's probably somewhere around there. How many hours is that? Fifty. That's just fifty five hours, right? That's it. Sucked. Fifty five hours of dishwashing.
to buy my Xbox One. And the first games I ever bought, I bought Madden. I bought FIFA. I bought Madden, FIFA, and um, Battlefield, I think. I went for I went to college for marketing at UMass Eisenberg School of Business. I um like despite what I was telling you about my sleep, I actually still did pretty good in school. Like I would show up to class for I would do a lot of my learning like outside of class, I can't lie. I did a lot of studying and like I would show up to class get my attendance and then i would like read the presentation and like study the slides and stuff after class so i would still learn and like i would still i would still learn when i had to but <laughs> i just wasn't really fully conscious most of the time if i had to give if i had to give a percentage i was probably asleep this is gonna sound it's really bad just rated with three viewers this is probably gonna sound really bad but I was asleep at least like one third of the time in class. At least, could be more. Yo, Towers, what's good? Thank you for the raid, I appreciate you. How are you, how was your stream? You're doing chemical engineering, nice. My brother got a degree in mechanical engineering. I think I had a couple engineer friends too. Um, I had a I had a friend in college that was a mechanical engineer. I had another um, I had another friend who was doing um, um, chemical engineering. Engineering looks fucking tough. I'm sure if you like stuff like that, though, it's probably awesome. But <clears throat> I don't really have a passion for any sort of engineering stuff. Oh. Woo! Come on! Like, that couldn't have went in, bro. What's up, David? Hey, hey, don't say that, Towers. How was your sesh? How are you? I bet you did fine. I mean, don't get me. I'm sure, like, engineering jobs, I think, like, uh, you know, or pay great. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Which is good because it's, like, tough stuff. But I just I don't have a passion for that. I honestly wish I got um, at least, like, a minor in political science or something in college, but I was interested in politics in college, but it didn't become like a fixation until years after I graduated. FL Studio, is that um, music? It's okay. I mean, you play for fun, and that's all that matters. Who cares? Aerospace engineering? Damn. So your dad's fucking smart as shit. Can you play with me? Nah, I'm just chilling. Playing some ranks. I had a, I had a friend that did computer science, too. I didn't really have many friends in the business school, to be honest. Most of my friends were nerds. Well, no, I mean, I guess they were nerds. I don't know. I'm, but I'm a fucking nerd, so. <laughs> it's middle of the night for me. 2.30 a.m. Late, later after stream. I will, Goku Black. Your PS4 broke? Damn, I'm sorry to say that. Or sorry to hear that. Is there a training pack for sidewall reads? No. Honestly, for sidewall reads, I feel like you're better off um, 
You're better off just in free play. You should um, hit the ball really hard off the sidewall and then just try to read it. I think you'll get pretty good at reads doing that. Like from a, like off the kickoff, just like reset the ball and free play. And then um, bang it off the sidewall as hard as you can then try to like meet it at the wall. Honestly, that's, kind of, that's how I've gotten a lot better at sidewall reads. Stuff like that's helpful. Like, you know what I mean, right? I can show you in free play if you don't, but yeah. That's tough. Bro, you look kinda gay, only kinda? You're pretty sure no problem. At 736, are you EU? Yeah, I'm uh I'm US East, so <laughs> you look kinda gay. That's like the that's like something like a twelve year old says. You're watching you're watching a calc lecture? Honestly, a lot of people talked about how they hated calculus, but I didn't really mind it. It was okay. For me, I kind of I've always been someone who, like, I like science and I like math. I like working with things that, like, aren't abstract. Like, I'm not very good at writing. I've never really been good at writing essays or anything like that. But, like, when it comes to math and using formulas and that kind of stuff, I'm pretty good at that. I've always been pretty good at math and science and not very good at, like... English or I like history too. I've always liked history. When I was younger, when I was younger, I would always say I want to be a history teacher when I grow up. <laughs> I also had a lot of really cool history teachers that I would like uh, talk to and connect with on some level, which is kind of cool. They helped make like learning more fun. You were never book smart, you're money smart. I imagine you said that as you held up bands. Your birthday's gonna be a semi lonely one? Well, no matter what, if you let me know it's your birthday and remind me, I will absolutely say happy birthday on stream and I'll have other people say it too, so you got that. I'm sorry it's gonna be lonely though. Damn, talking about my history teacher just made me really sad because there was a history teacher that I had in like sixth grade or seventh grade that he was really cool. He w he played like, he played football like me and I would like talk to him about football and he would like, I remember this one story he told me about how like, he, he said he used to be such like a, a cocky person. Like whenever he, he was such like an asshole, like whenever he scored and stuff. He said one time, he said one time he got a, a red card. Or I think he got like a second yellow or something. Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Um, he told me about how one time he scored a goal and then he pulled, he had like a Sharpie in his, in his sock and he pulled out the Sharpie and he like signed the ball and like threw it at the crowd and he got like another yellow card and got ejected from the game. Hi, Cammy Whammy. How are you? It's today. Oh shit. Happy birthday. What the hell? Everyone say happy birthday to JT Brendan right now. Let's go, Carlos. W. I'm not really the biggest fan of ice hockey, but let's go. Happy birthday. What the hell? I didn't know it was today. I didn't read your comment right or whatever. Chat. Happy freaking birthday. 
I know you said it might be lonely, but I hope it's as good as it possibly can be. Get yourself some good food or something. Why are you saying wow? Like what? You didn't realize? That's you're so real for that. Oh, look at that. Hey, even YouTube chat saying happy birthday. See, JT? Look at that. Oh, my God. Like, yo, what the hell? Like, s freaking, like, six, seven people said it in YouTube chat. Let's go. Hell, yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Whenever it's any of y'all's birthday, I'll, I'll always give, what the, I'll always give birthday wishes. Y'all deserve it. Bro, why, this guy's being a little weirdo. This guy stinks. Happy shower is gay day. Cleaning yourself is gay, everyone. Don't forget. Hygiene's only for freaking females. Hygiene's for females. If you clean yourself, you gay. Oh, really, Cam? Well, he sucks. You're the best? No, you're the best. Did y'all like my Andrew Tate impression? I thought it was really good. Not as good as my Thwomp from Mario impression, but it's up there. I'm surprised to hear you're playing 2v2, Cammy. Or just Rocket League in general. You buy yourself a new truck? Ooh, I would ask you, like, what kind and stuff, but, like, I don't know anything about cars. Thank you for the sub, by the way. Yo, if you're in the YouTube stream, don't forget to drop a like on the stream and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Both of those things helped me out a lot, and I really appreciate it. Really appreciate y'all being here and supporting regardless. Oh my god. 30,000 cash? Damn, you're like that, though. You're like that. You just have 30,000 cash to just drop. That's such a flex. Like, yeah, it was 30,000 cash. It's whatever. <laughs> yeah, it was just my play money anyways. It's just whatever. I got it like that. It's not a big deal. This motherfucker was the one quick chatting me, right? The one just whiffing fucking aerials? This person, huh? That's a bad touch. Spawn for me? Oh. I'm going to switch my Fennec preset. You guys have any pictures? Do it. Honestly, like, Cammy, I'm the same way. When it comes to buying something... Bro, thank goodness this guy fucking abandoned. I'll never have to fucking...
What a robot. I scored right when he left. I don't need his dumb ass. The 1v2 comeback victory. Spawn for me? No. Let's play in the mess. This is just stock Fennec. You're 24 and about to go on a first date. Any tips? Just be yourself. Just be normal. Be normal. And when I say normal, I just mean like, yeah, I don't know. Just be yourself. If you're going to date someone and it's going to go well, they should like you for who you are. And if they don't, that's okay. You'll find someone that does. What do I know about normal? Shut the hell up, game. Wash your ass, clip your nails. That is true, but you should be doing hygiene anyways. You shot at a Chevy S10 today? Wait, are you serious? I used to have a Chevy S10. My truck that I used to, uh, like my first car ever that was a hand-me-down from my grandpa when I was in high school was a 1997 Chevy S10. Nine thirty six P is a superior resolution to ten eighty P compared to um when it just when it comes to streaming. It's just better for the overall resolution and view of the stream. Bitch, I'm like P. Diddy. Don't say that. What don't say that. You don't want to be like P. Diddy. Why would you ever want to be like P. Diddy? The hell? Nothing like a Diddy party? What's wrong with you? On my first date, she tried kissing me and you shot her. Did you just admit to murder? They're not actually praising P. Diddy. They're just fucking around because the little weirdos. Hi, I'm gay. Oh, hi. Welcome to the stream, gay. Diddy walkout? What the fuck's a Diddy walkout? Oh, free, like a, like a free Diddy walkout. Like they, like we're protesting. That's actually crazy. Your sister got her baby. Oh, nice. Everything okay, Hannah? They were going home. That's actually so crazy that motherfuckers will do like a Diddy walkout. Wow, that's actually blowing my brain. What the fuck? I don't think my high school ever had a walkout, unfortunately. What just happened? The S10 you shot at was a former amateur soccer player. Oh, you shot at my car. What's up, Metros? Long time no see. Hope you're doing good.
five years? Holy shit, bro. That's actually kind of crazy. Bro, can someone tell me the anime that keeps popping up on my homepage on Crunchyroll is like, so, I don't even know what the name, like Aaliyah. Aaliyah sometimes hides her feelings in Russian. What the fuck is that anime and why is it all over my fucking home screen? Is it Aaliyah? My Crunchyroll homepage. I have my own profile. Bro! Is that another own goal? Come on, bro! What the fuck? What's up, Allie? That's a W. Teachers should be getting paid way fucking more. Teachers are not paid enough for how important of a job they do. This motherfucker say Giannis? Anyone gotta tell me what the fuck that Russian Aaliyah sometimes hides her feelings in Russians about? Anyone know? Like a romance anime or something? Damn. Oh, so it's like a it's like a slice of life like romance anime type thing. I keep losing one goal games. Actually tilting. I feel like I'm not even playing like that bad. Maybe I'm just not locked in enough. I want to play Elden Ring pretty soon. I can't lie. I'm so addicted. Bro. In Russia, teachers slap you for not getting questions wrong. I feel like that's not true. Do I play better off stream? Yeah, I would say in general off stream, I, I play a lot more focused. Obviously, because I'm not like focusing on chat or whatever. In general, like I don't think te have teachers got paid like an appropriate wage the entire existence of teachers hi anime oh my god we so should people hate russians now so thank you all i think like dumb people might hate russians why the fuck would why the fuck would anyone hate like russian people I understand people like don't like the Russian government or like Putin or something, but that's like a lot different than not liking just random ass Russian people. All right, after this game, we're going to switch the music vibes. What should we do? I know someone mentioned it um, yesterday, I think it was. Who saw who saw the like journalist or whatever, the reporter 
say the n-word hard r live on tv that shit was unbelievable bro dude i got it i have to show y'all this it's it's insane it's like it's like actually almost unbelievable that it happened i'm being serious it was like a slip up but he said it no it's real it's a guy that writes conservative uh he writes and edits conservative media articles we don't care play games bro i don't give a fuck if you don't care if you don't want me to hear me talk about stuff then leave when you went to the U.S. for the first time, you were spit on? Bro, you are like the biggest liar ever. What do you gain from just going into live streams and lying? Bro. Yeah, shocker, Christino. I'll I'll show I'll show the clip after this game. It's actually crazy. Hi Don. Wait till y'all see this clip. It's like It's crazy because like I don't know. I, you'll see. It's just like a racist motherfucker saying the N-word. Like, it's definitely something that he says in his free time. And he just had a slip up. In the sense, like, that is something he says and it was just top of mind. says thinks whatever I'll show the clip on stream don't worry dude fuck man yeah Anthony McManus that's the most Russian name I've ever seen in my entire life to be honest Rich Lowry, I think his name is. I believe. Get money, yeah, yeah. Get money, yeah, yeah. Where's Jordan? Where's Jordan? He's on the mic. Bro, there's no way I'm going to lose another one goal game. I've lost like every one goal game today, man. Wait, miss this. Fuck. This is so frustrating. Favorite pair of shoes? I like Adidas. I like the, I like the way Adidas looks. I have a lot, dude. Okay. What's up, 
killing mango. Hold on, I'll show y'all this clip. It's kind of crazy. Um, it's time for Donkey of the. Um. It's time for Donkey of the Day. It's a re, <laughs> but you're so. Where is? Can I just see the clip? Rich, Rich, Lau, Lowry says the N word live. Of recordings of calls, and they've only found two Springfield. Is this? Uh, the decal I have on is an eSport decal. Check this fucking shit out. What it? It's incredibly gratifying on the rare occasion where you actually do catch some geese. Uh, people really hate geese. <laughs> she never oh. started talking and something Check this out. interesting happened. It seemed like he dropped an in bomb. Check this out. I think it was in, in that interview where Dana Bash says, you know, the police have gone through 11 months of recordings of calls and they've only found two Springfield residents calling to complain about Haitian. Oh, it hurts. Okay, I'm going to go back. Uh, this hurts to hear. In, in that interview where, Mike's where Dana Bash Mwah. says, you know, the police have gone through 11 months of recordings of calls and they've only found two Springfield residents calling to complain about Haitian nigger, uh, migrants taking geese from ponds. Only two calls. Oh, and it hurts this whole to story. hear, people don't bro. Care about geese. And people really hate geese. You know, they, they, all things considered, yeah. I think people are prefer Haitian about migrants geese? to come and take Why are we still talking about geese? The man just said Haitian nigger migrants. Oh my God, bro. It hurts. Oh, bro, like it is so cringeworthy. No, he said the N word, bro. Two Springfield residents. Listen. Can you slow it down? Oh. Look at this. And you could very clearly hear it. Listen. Says you know, the police have gone through eleven months of recordings of calls, and they've only found two Springfield residents calling to complain about Haitian nigger uh, migrants taking. Okay. Okay. That's enough. This hurts to listen to. It's like really bad. It's really bad. Why did he say that? He said it because it's something that he definitely says. He's, it's definitely something he says, and he just, he slipped up. People like him are very racist already. He's already the writer for a conservative, like, editorial that, like, posts racist shit and edits racist shit. He's just racist, and, you know, he slipped up by saying the N-word. Party fan. Republicans, am I right? I mean, not just Republicans are racist, but yeah. A lot of a lot of Democrats are just about optics. You're Republican, L.
No, exactly. Yeah. Like you don't slip up saying the N word hard R like given the context and everything like bro, given the context and everything like you don't slip up and say the N word like that unless it's something that like you already say. Where do you live? Most of your friends are Republican. Eef, that's tough. Republican is the only co correct way. Ugh. If you could, you would vote for Trump. Oh, so you're just like a, a fetus. Okay. You're just a little child. Who cares what you say? I personally could never be friends with someone who has abysmal takes on human rights. Minnesota is Diet Canada. You're so real for that. I read chat and let it go on. Oops. Uh, I don't think I have anime now. I know. The funny thing with the mirror is I didn't even like set it up that way on purpose. It just ended up working that way. You're rage baiting? Oh. Uh -huh. That's okay. I'm sorry it didn't work. Do I remember you? Yep. You say if I remember you every time, I do. Elden Ring time is getting closer and closer. I mean, a lot of people think choosing political parties is like picking a football team or something. How about Val time? Hell no, I am not playing Valorant over fucking Elden Ring. What rank am I? Uh, platinum. I should drop RL for ball stars. Democrats and Republicans have valid points. I wonder what I would agree with the Republican on. I don't know if there's anything. I mean, surely, like, they have something. There's got to be at least one thing, right? Maybe? I've never played Minecraft before, no. Christina's getting back into Val. He wants it. You're gonna play some Rocket League? Nice. Let's go, Cardi fan.
roaster? I have not seen it, Crimson. You agree the board needs to be secured and regulated? Why? I don't think I don't think they actually do care about that anime. Why does the border need to be secured and regulated? Exactly, cow. It's stupid shit like that. I don't know. I don't know if there's any good with Republicans. I can't lie. I'm trying to think of like some conservative policy that I have to agree with, but like the whole idea of conservatism in general is just is fucking stupid. Where do you think the cartels are getting those weapons in Mexico? Whose policies and weapons and money do you think is has helped the cartels exist in the first place? I'll give you a hint. It rhymes with sh 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 America. Shaparica. We need to stop the cartels by uh, beating the fuck out of random people that are seeking asylum and safety. The idea of border regulation and securing in general is a stupid one. It's literally just imaginary lines. We don't need to secure and regulate. We need to make it safer and easier for people to come into America. Immigration is a good thing. We're literally a nation of immigrants. I'm doing okay, Blake, how you doing? Fuck. You're gonna have to be more specific than that anime. Unfortunately. Fennec or Octane? I don't know. I'm using Fennec right now, but... Bro. Okay. Good game, I guess. Beautiful, beautiful. I've like... How many games in a row have I lost, bro? Like, I feel like I haven't won for an hour. I've lost six in a row. I'm three and 11. Hi, Stubby. From Australia. Well, America's a shitty ass fucking horrible country for the most part. Sorry. Just keeping it real. Go do your math homework. And we get love starting the game getting scored on. Really cool. This motherfucker have a Bible verse in his Steam name? Jesus Christ.
I have L presets, bro. I'm literally using fucking Stocktane with Alpha Boost. Oh, it's on my team too, rip. Cal, usually, yeah. How do I do that? Do what? Yeah, exactly. It's fucking stupid. The, the process to become a citizen in America like legally is so purposely convoluted and difficult so it like discourages like it discourages people from doing it legally because it's so fucking expensive and long and convoluted like people like don't have the fucking time and money to do it it's literally like you're blocked off by fucking money it's so dumb and a lot of these countries that people are immigrating from they're literally, their country is ravaged by U.S. policy and our fault in the first place. So we're fucking up countries and then making it as hard as possible for people from those countries to actually fucking get here. It's fucking insane. America 101. New gen Jim Crow? I mean, yeah, there is in some places. It's so bad. A lot of people, like, are just fucking misled to believe that immigration is, like, a bad thing. But, like, it's just not. Like, if you look at the statistics and you look, like, okay, so first of all, our... We literally are a country of immigrants, first and foremost. Immigrants that genocided the native population, but, you know, that's here nor there. But we are literally a nation of immigrants. If you look at the stats and what immigrants bring to the nation, like our GDP, like the backbone of our GDP is like labor from immigrants undocumented or documented. Bye anime, love you, appreciate you. Have a good time at class. <laughs> oh, goddamn right, Cal. I'm the best girl Rocket League player ever. That's not even true. I feel like people forget that there's like literally been a girl pro and there's like multiple girls that are like higher ranked than me. Bro, isn't, isn't Ravina is like a bigger content creator than me. And isn't she like a 2K player like consistently? I'm not that good. We were founded on immigration, not illegal immigration. Bro, what? <laughs> yeah. Do you think the Native Americans had laws for immigrants back then when we slaughtered and killed them? Just wondering. What do you think about that? I'm not sure that they had laws for... Um, People coming in, stealing their land, and murdering all their family and loved ones. I'm pretty sure Native Americans were, like, super nice and accepting for the most part. And, like, tried to help out colonizers. And then the colonizers, like, gave them smallpox and killed them. And, like, then stole their lands. And, like, used them for, like, slave labor and shit. I don't know. Maybe my history is a little bit off.
that's colonization, not immigration. Bro, what do you what point are you trying to prove? Okay, so let's just so you're trying to say that the way that we did immigration um, by coming into a land that wasn't ours, killing the native population and stealing it for ourselves, that's better than people who are illegally immigrating and just trying to like work and live a better life. That that's somehow worse. Are you fucking stupid? Are you listening to what you're saying? This got to be rage bait, bro. No, you're not stupid. What you're saying is really fucking stupid. The way this country was founded was incredibly fucking violent and horrible and genocidal. Are you trying to say that that's somehow better than someone who's just immigrating from a different country who wants to work and have a better life for themselves and their family? What the fuck? Like, what is your point? What is, uh, what do you, what point are you trying to prove here? What's up, Ghost Daddy? You cannot 1v on me, sorry. I'm just playing ranked right now. If Aqua was a girl, he would be the best girl player. Aqua's not even the best player, period. What are you talking about? Tough. You, I said we were founded on immigration, not illegal immigration. Bro, like, okay. I want you to take a step back and just kind of understand how fucking stupid what you're saying is. Like, you're, like, you're baiting, right? Like, we were founded on murder and genocide and stealing land. You realize that that is illegal right like that is illegal now like you understand that just because it wasn't a law at the time that that's worse right that's your point the entire world was oh every country in the entire world genocided the local population and stole their land is that also what you're trying to say We created the modern world. Okay, so you're just actually like, you're just actually like a white supremacist weirdo. Is that is that what this is? The United States was the best possible outcome. Dude, how do people like you actually think? I don't understand. Like, there's got to be some, like, insane, like, there's got to be, like, some crazy structure set up in your brain. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? U.S. was the best outcome. So all those fucking, like, millions of people was the best possible outcome? You, do you think they thought that, too? As we fucking gave the native population small pack pox and murdered them and put them on death marches and genocided them. That was the best possible outcome. They deserved, those innocent people just deserved to fucking die so that we could steal their land. It absolutely was. Bro, you are actually fucked in the head. You're literally saying that, like, Native Americans, like, you're okay with them dying and being genocided because the U.S. exists. Do you realize how fucking, like, it, like insane and barbaric you sound? Average American moment. Average American defending genocide moment. You're saying it was inevitable? 
What the fuck kind of backwards retroactive logic is that? I'm getting baited. I know I'm getting baited. So you're telling me you're okay. So you're telling me that it's good and it's fine that we we colonized and murdered and genocided the population. And that was good. That was good immigration in your mind. But nowadays, people wanting to move here and work and make a better life for themselves and their family, that's bad immigration. Am I getting this right? Could it perhaps maybe do with the color of their skin? Is that the problem you're having? Is that, is that the disconnect we're having here? White people immigrating and doing genocide and murder and colonizing equals good. Brown people, black people. Those people immigrating, wanting to live a better life equals bad. I probably am arguing with a child. How am I manipula manipulating what you said? You said Native Americans were savage and like, whatever. They fought each other. What the fuck did we do? Okay, I'm getting, I'm yelling. I need to relax for a sec. What the fuck did we do? What would you consider us genociding and murdering them? That wasn't savage. That wasn't savage. That wasn't, that wasn't murderous. That wasn't backwards. Like, they deserve to get murdered because you think they weren't modern enough? You're a freak. We, dude, we were infinitely more savage than them. We fucking genocided them. The fuck do you think? Okay, all right, all right. I'm getting baited too hard. I don't know about that. Dude, you're a freak. Oh my God. I need to, I need to stop. I'm going to get baited on that and talk about it for an hour. I'm getting baited. Okay, we're good. I'm getting baited. I'm getting baited. I banned him. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. I literally can't believe people like that exist. There are people that are literally ready and willing to cast aside millions of people being genocided and murdered just because they don't like they don't really care about human life and doesn't really affect them. What's up, Eddie? What's up, please? That's gotta be a fucking... That had to be a rage baiter, bro. There's no way someone... Well, okay. I know that there are human beings that callous, but it's always like a, a, a gut punch when you actually find one in the wild, bro. Aaron Yeager type of shit? Actually, though... Callous reference. Bro, it, it, imagine how, like, backwards your brain has to be and how fucking insane your brain has to be to say that Native Americans are... It was actually a good thing that we genocided them and murdered them because they were savage and not modern. Yet, the people who murdered them and genocided them aren't savage and aren't murderous and aren't psychopaths, even though they're the ones that fucking destroyed the population and killed people. That's not savage. You know, not, not living life exactly how European people lived. That's backwards and savage and they deserve to die. That's bro. You know what that is? That, that dude is literally a pilgrim. That motherfucker is straight out of 1750. He's like that. He's like those fucking dudes from Mulan. Those savages. Those savages deserve to die. How dare they? It's our land now. How dare they live here and live off the land and such. Eyes area. You got your account hacked. I'll probably I'll probably fight Rykard today. 
Do you get the sword for a riot card, like, at the battle or something? All right, I, I want to play Elden Ring soon, but let me lock in and stop being distracted by chat so much and actually, like, win some games before I hop off. It, it's so crazy, Crimson. It really is. Like, it's so crazy to act like us genociding and murdering the population is okay and good actually like it's like okay and good they like use this like retroactive logic to be like oh they were they were backwards and we modernized the world and blah 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 it's so wild like they don't understand what they're saying like they don't understand that like we were the savages we were the backwards people we stole land and murdered the population that's literally as savage and murderous and backwards as it can get. That's barbaric. How much more backwards can you get? Our, our country, America, our nation is so fucking violent and gross. My fucking god, man. Listen to this string of back to back comments. I'd be a savage for your pee pee. Next comment. You're an idiot. Bye. <laughs> okay. It's not in. Oh. That's bad. Yeah. That one's on me. Stay in your room, never leave your mom's house. What even is prompting that response? Because I said something bad about America. Bro is cucked by Uncle Sam. How dare I say exactly what America is and has done? How dare I talk about history and what ha what's happened in the past? Patriot, I mean, just equals cuck to America in general, yeah. Dragon Ball Z, Piccolo, you tell him, Ski Mask. I can't. Oh, my teammate missed the boost, bro. Come on! Probably would have been a goal for us if we got the boost. Yeah, you ego me in twos, though. That's crazy.
You're useless, bro. People, it, that motherfucker literally two. We lost by two goals. We lost by two goals. One of those goals, he bumped me, literally bumped me off the save, so I couldn't save it. Another one of those goals, he missed the boost off the kickoff and then got beat in the 1v1. Yet, I'm useless, though, by the way. Just say you're salty? Bro, like, that motherfucker, is he ignoring the fact that we lost because of him? Not saying I played perfect, but, like... He we lost by two goals and two goals that were directly his fault. Let's have time the game. Like how you guys say you're like I think I think what's more annoying is the fact that he said that shit then insta left like a pussy. That is so annoying. Is literally literally the biggest pussies say something that insta leave. They're like little babies that like shout insults from the car on the on the to someone on the sidewalk. Because they'll never be able to respond or confront them in any way. Bro, what are you talking about, huh? Who? Did you get banned and you're like on an alt account or something? Holy smokes, that's pathetic. Yes, I'm useless because I didn't fix his mistakes. My bad. Yeah, let's talk. Bro, you are under the age of 18 years old. I'm not having a fucking discussion with you. Kai's, dude, there's no way. If Kai Sinat, how many deaths did he have on Elden Ring? Kai is better than me? Okay, you know damn well that I'm better than Kai Sinat at Elden Ring. He might be a better streamer, but I'm a better Elden Ring player. Yeah. This is Dav. Hi, Dav. What are you... Dumb teens, why did you get banned exactly? Why are you so salty? It's pretty pathetic to come in an alt account to keep chatting, by the way. I can't lie. It just shows that you were so triggered that you had to log into another account to keep going. Why did you get banned? I don't fucking know. I don't know who you are. You're some schmuck on an alt account. I don't know what the fuck your main is. Just use back as mod, Christina. You want it that bad? Should you subscribe? Hell yeah. Then act like you forgot you talked. Bro, I don't know who you, like who are you? You don't have the same name. How would I know? What do, you, what do you mean I forget? How Literally, how would I know what the fuck you were saying and who you are if you're on an alt account with a different name? I, I don't understand. 
what would I do if you gave $100? I would probably be like, holy shit, that's crazy. Thank you so much. Something like that. Give it a guess. Bro, like fucking 50 weirdos get banned a stream sometimes. Uh, there's no way I'm going to be able to guess. Literally out of sight, out of mind. Should you? Sure. What are those turtles from Mario called? Is this like a bait or something? Are they called like Koopas? Right? Is like a Ligma joke? We're little mush- oh, Goombas. Little mushroom guys. Bro. Fuck. What do I think about the United States? I think it's a fucking horrible, evil country that has caused so much suffering across the world. I actually just can't win a game in twos, bro. God, I, I'm getting cooked. Oh, are you the guy that was saying that Native American genocide is like cool and good? Is that who you are? Were you that intelligent soul? I manipulate your words, bro. You literally tried to justify it by saying that we modernized the world and that this was the best case scenario. The best case scenario, apparently, for this for this piece of land was f genociding the local population. If that's not justifying genocide, then what is that exactly? Please tell me how that's manipulating your words. It is one of those nights, bro. I can't fucking win a game. I'm like minus 50 in twos right now, bro. Okay, bye. Can you play together? No, sorry. I'm not a femboy, but I am getting shit on Rocket League. That's how two's been for you. I mean, ultimately, like, minus 50 is not, like, the worst, but it's not great. Minus 50 is a tough sesh. You can carry? Probably not. You're a grand champ tourney winner? Oh, my God. Wait, maybe you can carry, actually. That's pretty crazy. You got to be able to defend your land. Okay. Do you like fundamentally not understand like history? Is that where we're, what's happening here? 
What do you mean defend your land? We stole land, claimed it as ours, and then killed the local population. What about that do you not understand? The fuck do you mean defend your land? Defend the land that we stole? What are you like what are you talking about? Like I'm convinced this dude thinks America, this land was just ours. Like we didn't steal it, we didn't colonize. It was just ours from the beginning apparently, according to this guy. They didn't live in the modern world. Okay, so again, you're saying because Native Americans were not living the way that you th wanted them to or think they should, that it's okay that we came, stole their land, and killed them. I'm not manipulating your words. That is exactly what you're saying. This isn't rage bait, I don't think, y'all. There are people that actually believe this shit. This is like, honestly, I feel like the average American believes this, like, genuinely. I, I genuinely think, like, the average American thinks, like, the Native American genocide was good and warranted. Dude. <laughs> what the fuck can I do, man? Okay, so again, so you're saying that because it happened 400 years ago, that it was good and fine and justified. That's what you're saying. You're saying it was good and fine. What's up, Elena? Alina? Where am I now? Still GC2, unfortunately. How old am I? Uh, 57. I like how you're trying to say like I'm manipula I manipulated your words or whatever when I'm just saying exactly what you're saying. But not be saying it in like a roundabout way. What drama is going on? Just someone saying that it's fine and cool that the Native Americans were genocided because it happened. They didn't live in the modern world apparently. It worked out better than you can imagine. Um, millions of people died. Babies were slaughtered. Innocent people were slaughtered. I would say that's pretty not good, in my opinion. I'd say that's pretty bad. And then America also did chattel slavery. I mean, that happened everywhere. That was the world back then. That is such a backwards, fucking insane justification for us doing genocide and stealing land. No, that's not how it worked. You think every single country in the world was founded by imperialism and colonization? Really? You think the Native American population of every, every, the Native population of every country was genocided <laughs> you're so america propaganda brain bro i'm telling you this is not rage bait the average american thinks like this in order to justify genocide and slavery and imperialism and murder this is the type of shit that they say Oh, it happens. They'll just say shit that's just not even true. Like, historically not true. Oh, it happens everywhere. Oh, it's good. It turned out great. Look at us now. Like, I, I guess this is how you uh, can avoid learning about history, I guess. 
Just avoid learning about history, make stuff up, and justify murder and genocide. Oh my god, bro. Hi, Freaky Puss. Real shit, Christina. We're gonna lose by a goal because my teammate own gold army. Wait, hold on. Does he have that? Okay. I'm in Africa and we're not doing fine. Oh. Okay, yeah. Let's act like Africa isn't the biggest fucking continent in the world with a whole bunch of different countries. Yeah. Okay. Bye, Exitious. Love you. Appreciate you. Thanks for lurking. Get some sleep. Now we got people eating their pets. No, we don't. That's another made up racist conservative lie. Africa isn't the biggest continent. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure. Maybe Asia. Asia, then Africa. Continent size by land area. No, it's Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe, Australia. That also is true. Like, no one lives in Antarctica, and still, it's not the biggest. <sighs> Mexican Pop Tart. I know. These motherfuckers are so callous and so evil talking about human life. What's up, Ivan? No, there is not. People are not fucking eating pets in Ohio. If you genuinely believe that, you have you have been duped by conservative propaganda. It's literally made up stories. Freekeepers three eighty six fifty five subscriptions keepers. to the community. Thank you for the subbies. The hell? Thank you. I appreciate you. I'm not Muslim. I was fucking kidding. Thank you very much for the five. Your dad believes that shit? Bro, that is like some of the most racist shit you could fucking believe. Like, genuinely. Like, if you genuinely believe that there are migrants eating people's pets, you are one racist motherfucker. It is bright. That's why he's the goat. How have you been, by the way, freaky puss? Also, when you change your name back. I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. Are you telling me I'm dumb because I don't believe that migrants are eating people's pets, even though, like, it's factually true and there's, like, no actual evidence or data for it? I'm stupid for believing reality and facts. Is that what we're saying?
It's a fact that they do. Please show me a source. Show me a source. Show me the reports. Show me the stats. Because last time I checked, uh, there's been two reports over the last, I don't even know how many, how long of a distance of time, of, of potentially people reporting to the police that they saw patient migrants potentially eating pets. And guess what? They investigated it, and there's no evidence or data for it. Huh. That's weird. It's almost like people are just dumb, racist fucking morons that just say shit and hope you believe it because you're also a dumb fucking racist moron who is stupid enough to fucking believe that Haitian migrants are eating pets because you're a racist monster that thinks black people are, like, less than human that would take people's pets and eat them. Do I score these? Can I ask why you're so certain it's not true? Because there's literally no evidence for it. That's why. Because I live in reality. It's literally people just saying it. There's no fucking evidence for it. it it's literally proven that it's not true. Bro, you had J JD Vance went on the other day to say that he made it up. I don't watch CNN. You think I'm a fucking liberal? No. Bro, literally show me the evidence. Show me this evidence you're talking about. Show me the police reports. Show me the stats, please. Literally, source. Show me. I'm really sorry to hear that that's the case, Cal. Okay, so you think because there's some dumb, racist fucking rednecks saying that Haitians are eating the pets, yet there's no evidence when, when investigations have been done, and there's no evidence of it actually happening, so you just believe fucking, you just believe people, dumb, racist motherfuckers saying shit, but not actual evidence? Oh, yeah, calling someone a redneck is so racist. You're right. My bad. Jesus Christ, bro. People have lost the plot. Motherfuckers are out here saying Haitian migrants are eating pets and then saying that calling someone a redneck is fucking racist. Okay. Dude. No, they're not. Why are you... They're not doing that. God, why? Dude, YouTube chat is so fucking bad. Not all the time, but Jesus Christ. Motherfuckers believe the most racist shit, I swear. I don't know why. Hey, did you- hey, did y'all know in India they're impregnating cows and lizards, apparently? That's happening.
Someone in someone in the YouTube stream said that, so it must be true. It's crazy, man. Dude. Okay, let's let's give this a quick little look see. Are patient patient migrants eating pets? I can't believe I'm wasting my fucking time on this. No evidence of Haitian immigrants stealing and eating pets in Ohio. A viral narrative suggesting to a post on Facebook. No evidence. Body cam, body cam video. Verdict. No evidence. There is no evidence that Haitian immigrants are killing and eating pets in Springfield, Ohio, according to local officials and police. Huh. That's weird. So according to local officials and police, there's no evidence. Huh. That's really weird. So people are saying something is happening because they're racist fucking monsters and they hate immigrants, but the police have no evidence, local officials have no evidence, but you still believe it? Why exactly would that be the case? Just wondering. So I'm just wondering, so there's no evidence for these baseless claims besides people just being racist monsters, but you still believe it because why? Because it's easy to not get caught. Do you think people, oh my God, do you think people like wouldn't know if they're pe like, oh my God, I literally can't understand this logic. There's no link. You're not putting a fucking link. There's no link in chat. Look, motherfucker. What the fuck am I avoiding? Where the fuck is the link? And it doesn't even matter. You're posting a fucking Twitter link. I'm, I'm literally looking at people talking about the fucking police evidence and local officials. You're sending Twitter posts. Like, how are you, like, genuinely, I, I know I say how, I know people are racist as fuck, but, like, sometimes, again, it blows my brain. It blows my brain that people are so racist that you think that there are, they're actually eating pets. Like, bro, there is no evidence for it. Literally, no evidence. Like, bro, do you think, like, the police are saying it's not happening. Local officials are saying it's not happening. What does it take? You believe fucking random racist people on the street? How is that racist? How is it racist to assume that you think immigrants are eating fucking pets, even though there's no evidence? How is that racist? How is, that's really what you're asking? Bro, okay, no, I can't take this. I can't take this. How are people still going with that shit even though, like, it's been, like, proven false? Like, don't these people love the police? Don't they love the police? Why would the police be lying exactly? You don't think police love fucking beating up immigrants and black people? You don't think that's, like, part of their fucking job description?
You don't think they would love doing that if that was the case? Fucking psychos, bro. Did I win that game, by the way? I'm pretty sure I lost. It's racist to think all police are like that. Oh, really? Police is a race now? Yeah, it's a fucking race. It's it's a, a police officer is a new fucking race, I guess. I know, Bright. Hi, Snub. Thanks for the casino. Yeah, police are a fucking race, bro. Yeah, you know what their race is? Fucking pig. A few bad apples. Do you know the rest of that expression, Jadon? How does the rest of that expression go? If immigrants are a separate race, bro, oh my god, oh my god, is your brain screwed on right? Immigrants are literally comprised of different races of people. Police officer is a fucking job. Are you stupid? Okay, well, that's a dumb question. It's a rhetorical question. Yes, you're stupid, but like, how do you not realize you're stupid? God, fucking... Oh, I got this fucking genius on my team again. Yeah, I know. I'm stupid, Bridge. I get it. I'm wasting my fucking time. Bro, I had to ban someone that said people in India were impregnating cows and lizards, man. Like, what the fuck is wrong with people's brains? He, also, he said he was African, and he said, I'm African, it's not going well here. And then he also said he was Indian. Bro's just pretending to be different from different fucking countries. Nevertheless, I get your point. Well, you use the expression, expression. A few bad apples spoiled a bunch. If you have two bad police officers and... 98 good ones and the good ones aren't stopping the bad ones and getting them fired and doing everything in their power to get those bad police officers out of power then you have a hundred bad police officers Irrefutable proof of what? I wish I had go for it, cause I'd be fucking spamming it to this kid. Damn, I thought he hit that closer to, or farther. Yeah, 
This guy is so fucking annoying. Holy shit, man. Fucking ego for no reason. Schlag is dog meat. The fuck has he done this game? Oh, that was that was pretty good. He triple flipper set it into their fucking corner, I guess. That was really useful. Look at him fucking go for the big boost. That's how you know when someone's super fucking triggered. They got an alt account. Okay. I fixed it. Sorry about that, y'all. <laughs> Bro, cross. Police officers, sh police officers shoot and kill like twenty thousand dogs every year. That's an unbelievable stat. I heard, I heard an uh, expression recently. It was like, "Don't call the police. They'll show, <laughs> they'll show up to your house, shoot your dog, say they, uh, say they can't help, and then leave." Bro, look it up. Look it up. Look up. Look up how many uh, how how many dogs do police officers shoot and kill a year? Look it up. It's like genuinely insane. Bro, I, I literally don't know what it's going to take for your, like, tiny-ass pea brain to understand this. There is no evidence of Haitian immigrants eating pets. You are a dumb, racist baboon for thinking that. Police have no evidence. Local officials have no evidence. You are a monkey-brained racist fuck for thinking that when there's no evidence. I don't give a fuck about a random Twitter post that you put. There is no evidence from actual official sources. Therefore, there is no evidence and you are wrong. All right! No evidence because it's Eden. Yeah, bro. People totally wouldn't know if their pets go missing. People don't totally wouldn't report that to the police. And there definitely wouldn't be evidence of it. Yeah, for sure. That's how it works. Either, dude, either you're saying that police are lying, local officials are lying, or like, bro, I can't, bro. How many fucking accounts do you have? God, this must be this must be like a fucking This motherfucker must have like so many alt accounts waiting. Oh, true cow. 
Wait, I was wrong. I was underselling it. Yeah, police officers shoot and kill 26. Police officers shoot and kill 26,000 dogs a year. That's crazy. What's up, Fish Moon? <laughs> Literally cross. <laughs> Twitter brain rot. Bro, I haven't been on Twitter for over two months now, and it's been awesome. Twitter is literally just a right-wing shithole. You'll literally have, like, a post get, like, 100,000 likes, and it's just, like, the most racist shit you've ever seen about Indian people. Yeah, were the dogs resist- Were the dogs resisting arrest? How dare they? The dogs were resisting arrest and they ran up to the police officer like with the tail wagging and like barking. So it deserved to get shot in the fucking head and killed, honestly. Shoot first, ask questions later. That's what I always say. Shout out to that video of the fucking acorn falling near the cop and he does like a fucking tactical roll and he goes up oh, shots fired i'm hit i'm hit and then he fucking shoots like six rounds into the back of his fucking car that video is unbelievable that's like that's just american policing right there that's some of the most embarrassing shit ever I hope that guy got fired. Following this chain, what? Why did my teammate like stop there for a sec? If you haven't seen that video, please look it up. Please, if you haven't seen that video, look up like cop shot by acorn. Yeah, it's the real first killer. He's 1502s. I can't believe it. Norm normal American police. Americans policing is so fucking horrible. It's really bad. Yeah, what's wrong with Twitter as a source? I don't understand. I understand that there's no police evidence. I understand that there's no local official evidence. I understand that all of the officials and actual people that would compile this data and have evidence for it, I understand that all of them are saying that it, it's not happening and it's just a lie. But have you considered that this person I follow on Twitter posted a video and I believe it's true? Just saying. What's up, ROA? Acorn Cop had PTSD. Bro, if you are if you have a fucking weapon and you are that on edge, an acorn dropping sends you into a fucking tactical roll, you shoot six shots and say you were hit, you shouldn't be a police officer. That's a, that's the type of people that are police officers in this fucking country. Motherfuckers who are at the fucking drop of an acorn ready to fucking fire off a whole clip into something. Whether it be a person, a car, whatever. Yeah, David, that one's fucking insane. I think the most insane part about that story is she called the police because she wanted help. Like, she called the police because she wanted help and she was fearful of someone being outside her house. They they came to her house and executed her. I 
I believe her name was Sonia Massey. It's wild because police executions are just normal in America. Like, it's it's so normalized. That shit happens all daily, pretty much. I say almost daily, but no, it's it's pretty much daily. Yeah, my bad, Cal. Rick and Morty reference? Ow. Let me tell you, suicide by cop has never been easier. Yeah, just call them and say you need help. Call the police Call the police and say, hey, I need help. And then you just get shot. It's awesome. You make one wrong move, and they're just waiting to fucking shoot. And it's crazy because so many Americans think it's okay and good that police officers are basically the judge, jury, and executioner here. Like, that's a good thing. Like, police should have that power. I can't believe first killer is 1,500 and twos and losing to me. Especially considering the night I've had. That's tough. That's tough from first killer. trigger happy and paranoid bro it's because police officer in america are literally trained to shoot first and ask questions later they're not trained in de-escalation they are trained to expect that they're going to die at any second and they need to have their finger on the trigger ready to go when you're trained like that when that's how policing works how the fuck do you think things are going to get de-escalated they don't want to de-escalate. They want to fucking kill. They want to murder. They think it's like a fucking video game or something. Thank you, Spartan. I literally just got them threaded today. Please tell me they look good. Bro, what do you think? How's there? There has been a team of like all like insane 1v1 player, right? Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Do y'all like my hair like this, by the way? Have I ever worn my hair like this on stream? Just like a nice little top bun? I don't remember if I have. Um, Cal, have you considered that I'm just a really good tag player? Hi. Okay, have a good night, Mexican Pop-Tart. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you for being a normal, not racist piece of shit monster. It's way too rare. Way, way too rare. In YouTube chat especially. Yeah. I mean, it's it's pretty much like every week there's like a new racist lie that conservatives try to make up to like get people to hate marginalized groups. Um, don't get me wrong. I definitely still have frizz in my hair. It's probably just not as visible because it's, you know, the webcam doesn't pick up every single little detail. I I still do have frizz, if I'm being honest. Um, but honestly, the way I care for my hair, I, I brush my hair. Uh, I brush my hair, like, daily. So I'm, like, always constantly getting the dead hair out and stuff that definitely helps because sometimes the frizz is like you know maybe like split ends or dead hair um but also i you know i wash my hair and condition my hair two three times a week maybe max i don't overwash my hair which could contribute to dryness and also i use a hair mask which is like basically like super conditioner but it also depends what kind of hair you have i i have like straight hair like straight slash like wavy hair if you have like curly hair or more fine hair 
Um, that could definitely change how you want to take care of it. Thank you for the follow, Purple Sun. Hey, don't forget, if you're in Twitch chat and you're not followed and you're enjoying what you're seeing, if you're on YouTube chat and you're enjoying what you're seeing, don't forget to drop a follow on Twitch and don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Also, don't forget to drop a like as well. Don't forget to drop a, a like on the live stream. Both of those things help the channel out. And yeah, if you're not a racist monster, feel free to subscribe. Or if you are a racist monster, feel free to subscribe and get angry. I guess that's cool too. Kryptonite Esports might be the best team of all time. I don't think there's I don't think there's been a team as generational as Kryptonite Esports. Bro, I'm too strong. Yeah, it just depends. Like, you're only supposed to be washing your hair, I would probably say, like, two, three times a week. But obviously, that depends on how much you sweat, how humid it is, where you live, all that stuff. Like, obviously, if you're sweating a whole lot, you want to be washing your hair more often. But in general, it's usually, for most people, it's pretty, pretty not great for your hair to be shampooing too often. It can cause dryness and, like, honestly, that probably contributes to frizz and stuff. Also, for your hair health, it's pretty important to, like, get, like, maintenance trims. You wash it every day in the morning before school? Are you, like, a super sweaty person or something? Paps, butters, and hammy crackers would be an insane team. Mail? Did you just spell mail? M-A-I-L? That's pretty awesome. Shampoo and conditioner three times a week. Yeah, that's probably pretty good. That's about like every other day, right? A lot of people wash their hair too much and then don't realize that that's contributing to their, their poor hair health. Wait, carry atomic? I thought atomic was good. English or Spanish? Espanol. Uh. What's please in Spanish? Gracias, thank you. Why am I figuring, why am I having a brain fart right now? What the fuck is please in Spanish? Por favor, thank you, thank you. Oh my god, I just had a huge brain fart. My brain kept going to gracias, but that's obviously not... That's thank you. Right, I'm actually winning games right now, so let me keep playing and then we'll hop on Elden Ring. I know more French than I do Spanish, that's for sure. What does Mila Pelas Chris mean? You're saying you're very fast? What does that mean? Something Chris? You're saying you're fast, but what, what is La Pelas? Oh, did I just like say a bad word or something? Is Palos like penis or something? You're saying like you come fast or something? 
Bro, when are we finally get to see a team of musty, squishy, and aqua? Don't disrespect my goat, Dan. Okay, we're driving around the boost one, mo one moment. You heard offline is quite better, but there's always some. I mean. You definitely don't want to overbrush too. I would say I brush my hair like one to two times a day, max. I am putting on, okay. I think this is my favorite song right now. It's like actually so catchy and so good. Oh, I'm bad for that, my fault. It's okay, Bright, so am I. I'm not tapped in enough to RLCS. <laughs> what was that challenge? <laughs> Anyone else rocking with this? Example of a rare country song that I like. Dark? Wait, is Dark actually good? I thought someone saying that like he gets most of his clips in like private matches or like low rank casuals or something. I know he's mechanically still really good. Don't get me wrong. Like it still takes skill to pull off the shit I see, but it's obviously like less impressive when it's not happening in like higher rank lobbies. Dude, Monkey Moon's still probably younger than me. Don't say that shit. Anyone liking the Sabrina Carpenter song? Anyone? Any enjoyers? Okay. No, I know Dark's a great player. I just saw someone saying that he, like, his clips are in private matches. Sabrina Carpenter is not an industry plant. Is she? Wasn't she, like, already famous? How could she be an industry plant? Oh, I got... Did I get baited by someone lying then? The song is Slim Pickens by Sabrina Carpenter. It's so good. That's probably my favorite song. That's a crazy turn, but okay. Sabrina Carpenter has some wild clips from her Disney days. The shit they made her say was kind of insane. Oops. Was it Nickelodeon bad? I mean, they just, they just like wrote her into some roles where she's just saying some wild shit. Like, 
I think one of the roles that she was written into in like one of the movies, she was like playing like a racist character or at least a character that starts out initially racist. And she was like talking to a, uh, a black player on her basketball team. And like her character said like, just pretend like the uh, basketball is like a piece of fried chicken or something like shit like that is like kind of insane. And then there was one where she was like, bro. She was like written to say like, basically just acting like autism is like some insane disease. She was not acting. Oh, shut the hell up. Keep it up. Imagine. No. Okay. All right, come on. I am not about to drop a foul and lose. Oh, I am. Brutal, man. That is not a GG at all. That is a BG and a half. Unfortunately. Wait, so you, you think the best 3v3 team of all time, TRK, Dan, Rawas? Wait, what would the best 3v3 team be right now if you, like, put together all, like, three of the best players? What's up, test subject? Beast mode, monkey, zen? You think so? I mean, that sounds like a pretty good team. 1v1 me, you're bad. What the hell? Oh, we're playing someone live on Twitch. We have to perform and look good. Why are you seeing that eclipse? Dude. This is one of those days, man. I can't catch a break. Watching me play is addicting? Didn't you just get here? <laughs> Bro. I can't catch a break, man. I really can't. Two unbelievable goals. Cross, that's what it feels like most of these lobbies today. It's actually insane. Stuff is happening? Like what? Cross, last stream. Last Elden Ring session, I got the Dark Moon Greatsword. Thoughts? Okay, nice. 
Can I coach you when you're not streaming? I'm not a coach, sorry. That's, dude. Okay, I still score from the goat. Honestly, I think I might end up do welding katanas at some point. You want to talk about it? Okay, well, I'm, I hope it gets better, and I'm sorry you're going through that. I have the blood dagger. I've heard that one's really good. The reduvia. The ash of war on it looks pretty cool, too. I think what's nice about the Dark Moon Greatsword is even without its Ash of War, it seems like it does pretty good damage. Am I wrong with assuming that? It's not only good because of its Ash of War, right? But obviously that helps. Do oh wait, are you on new game? You can only get one Reduvia per playthrough, right? I'm sorry, I don't coach, but you could always build up enough channel points and I can like review a replay or something. And that way it'd be completely free too. Aw, oh, lucky bitch. What's up, Real M? How are you? Have a friend drop you one? That's true. That's very true. I don't know. The Reduvia... I don't think I ever actually ended up using the Reduvia. I got it, but... I didn't have a blood build in the beginning. I had, like, more of a strength build. So at that point, I was using uh, my Great Axe still. I'm probably going to end up... I don't know. I want to try using the, the Moonvel Katana. Um, I want to try using Eleonora's Pole Blade again, I think. There's a couple weapons I still want to use, and I still have, like, multiple larval tiers that I'll end up probably using, too. Um... Respec and stuff. I I might go back to Dex Arcan. I don't know. I've already I've been testing out like multiple builds. I started out with a strength build, and then I switched to a dexterity like arcane build and now i'm doing a strength intelligence build it's kind of fun it's just like another one of the things i like about elden ring is it's fun to like um like respec and do different builds and stuff what's up mario do command peak what's up willy wonka Rivers of, Rivers of Blood, yeah, no, I know that one's good too, but I'm not at that part of the game yet. I'm like still, I'm close to, I'm getting closer to end game, but I'm not quite there yet. Next time I hop on, I'm going to be doing Volcano Manor. Hey, it's me, Goku! Thanks for the follow, Willy, much love. Oh, I clutch up here, I'm in the game for us. No, wait. Yeah. No, I'm not a once player at all. Yeah, I mean, strength build's pretty cool. Hey, if you are if any of you are interested in watching me play Elden Ring like experiencing it for the first time, 
Um, I'm doing a series on my YouTube. So like, obviously I do it live, but I record it. <clears throat> and then I like edit out and just have the part where I'm playing Elden Ring and stuff. Uh, I put it on my YouTube channel. Yeah. <clears throat> I stopped grinding ones. I'm, dude, okay, I'm ass now. I'm only 1,200. I dead ass like... I dead ass haven't been SSL in one in so long. <laughs> Cross, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Triple low G. Yahoo! <laughs> Let's get, wait, Cal, have you been SSL once before? You never been SL in anything? Wait, what the hell? Really? I never would have guessed that. I thought you'd been at least SSL in twos or something. That's crazy how that got by me like that. I'm sad. That's so cap, Cal. I see the clips you post. Even if you have been SSL ever, you're obviously really close to that level. Especially because you've like peaked GC3 like multiple times. Nice. You got the pink title in season six, nice. I got it season one and two and then like stopped trying. Yes, test subject. Bang. Cal basically is SSL. Nice mirror, thanks. Gim, your peak is like platinum three. I know I know your ass isn't talking. I mean, if you keep that up, Cal, you will get there, obviously. That's obviously probably better practice than just straight rank, too. Wow, that's... The stuff I'm watching today for my roster is borderline unbelievable. Test subject. You really are a fucking test subject, huh? Don't get mad. I mean, that's an incredibly fucking weird, rude thing to say. Champ one's better than average, yeah? You know what? I was going to coach you. Now I'm not anymore. I'm lucky. Yes. And you conflicted against that and try or trying to like invalidate my existence. Saying some weird ass shit. That's so real, Hannah.
you asked a question bro you're it's a it's called a loaded question isn't it just to make you feel better doesn't that conflict with how you were born Aren't you just doing, aren't you just doing make-believe pretend? Is that what it is? Huh. Bro, that's not even assuming the worst intentions. That's literally bar for bar transphobic rhetoric, bro. Massachusetts. That's like the motherfucker in my YouTube chat going, what makes you assume Haitians aren't eating pets? Just a question. Oh my. Dude, I hate this game, man. Test subject. How about I don't have to fucking, like, validate and prove my existence to you? Just be a normal fucking human. How about that? I have pretty glasses? Thanks. Um, actually, every single queer person has to tell me exactly why they feel the way they do, and they have to validate their existence to me. You're a zoo monkey to me. I, I have a right to ask whatever personal question that I want, and you have to tell me. Dance for me. I am entitled to believe... I'm entitled to ask you whatever I want and you have to answer it or else you're sensitive. What's up, Bob? How are you? Tough fucking game, man. What a horrible day. You literally have your bot and your pronouns. What are you even saying? Bro. Yes, that is so people can refer to me correctly. What the fuck does that have to do with what you said? What does that have to do with your chat? You have these pronouns, right? Doesn't that conflict with how you were genuinely born? Aren't pronouns just to make you feel better? That is like bar for bar, like transphobic rhetoric. Okay, there you go. Again, bar for bar, transphobic rhetoric. Look at this. Look how he's speaking now. Hey, dip fuck, you literally saw the pronouns command. The fuck are you talking about? What's up, NA56? Once it's like when some people find out they do their best to say the opposite in every Maybe I should ban GG's again. Bro, how do you say stuff like that and not think that you're, what you're saying is trans? What the fuck are you talking about? My barber did me dirty? That's crazy. I'm getting attacked on all sides, bro. I think the new map is pretty. I 
That's so crazy. Um, actually, I only refer to people based on their biological sex. I don't think gender is real. Gender is made up by liberals and cucks. Um, you're playing make-believe to make you feel better. Bro, you're platin Rocket League, transphobic, and a fucking robot in Twitch chat. Pick a struggle, man. Delvine, face pick or you can't talk? Bro is comparing, like, just referring to someone with preferred pronouns as being God. Bro, you're literally being the asshole. I picked out that you were transphobic, like, off the rip. I asked a simple question. I said that you're biologically a male, so aren't you just playing make-believe? I'm just asking questions here. Bro, do you think, like, I feel like transphobic people feel like trans people don't know about, like, biological sex as if, like, that, <laughs> I bet, I bet it's like some fucking, like, gotcha. Yes, biological sex is some gotcha. Trans people actually don't know what biological sex is. Therefore, I am smart in not being transphobic. Before I ever before I ever use somebody's pronouns, I check to see what they have in their pants. I'm not being transphobic. I'm simply saying that you are male. Therefore, I will refer to you as a male, sir. Mods, dox that chatter. <laughs> Sometimes I genuinely wonder if people like that think they aren't being transphobic, like, genuinely in their hearts. Or if they, like, know they are and they're just purposely being super antagonistic and an asshole. It's probably, like, a mix of both most of the time. Jarvis. It's just so crazy that people be saying shit like that and they like try to like debate debate people's like existence and validity as a human being. And then they think they're not being like a rude fucking piece of shit. Actually, every single queer tra queer or trans person I see, I uh, I debate them on why they exist and uh, when they discovered they were playing make believe. And it's kind of my passion.
I don't care. Crash out, bitch. Holy gay? Yeah, literally. Like, really fucking super gay. You're gay? Okay, cool. That's dope. I love when people point out the obvious and they think it's like a roast or something. I am SpongeBob. I'm actually Tom Kenny. Holy shit, I'm carrying. Good grind, Devo, bro. Aren't you like the fucking like, aren't you like 14 years old? Why are you asking adults about their sexually and calling people gay like don't you have like fucking math homework or something bro go do your fucking algebra homework how much do you want to ask how much do you want to bet psychotic intentions is test subject How am I using you for content? You're the one that's baiting right now. I just carried the fuck out of that guy. Holy shit. Are you rage baiting? You seem like you are, yeah. Hi, Sigma Tree. Nah, bro, my experience online is, like, not different from any other queer person's experience online. It's, like, regular, bro. Like, like di literally daily harassment. It's really sad. You like Mickey Mouse in the back? That's not Mickey Mouse. What the fuck? What the fuck do you see Mickey Mouse? Like, my experience online, I might maybe receive a, a larger amount of hate because I do have a small online presence, but... It's pretty regular, like... Unfortunately. Your experience, you mean it experience? That doesn't even make sense. Is that really the best you got? Oh, W cross. That's awesome. Remember you? I do. If you're gonna try to roast me, at least like make sense. Holy shit, this guy is cringe. He's fucking self-promoting because he knows he's playing me. Jesus Christ. He's in my stream saying GG's earlier. God damn. I wonder if people actually think that's like a like a good way to grow. Nah, this is a tough two v two lobby. Where is my teammate, bro? Oh, lucky cross. That's kind of insane, Bright. I can't lie.
Okay. If Cross used Fennec, he'd be SSL already, to be honest. So true. Big feet, bro. <laughs> Fennec's the worst car? No way. Bro, face pick of yourself? Or you can't say shit. You're literally just some random weirdo being toxic in an online chat. I get it. You're probably, like, insecure about yourself. And probably clapped as fuck. But it's fine. So you try to make yourself feel better by being mean to other people. It's okay. What's up, Blends? I should have scored that. You're feeling great? Definitely not. People that are feeling great and not like feeling horrible about themselves and confident don't make fun of other people's looks online. Just keeping it real with you, buddy. Sub blends. If this motherfucker comes in my chat and says GG's again, they are getting banned. Just keeping it real. I'm pretty sure it's just Paul. Bro, I'm not taking it personally. I'm just saying you're a loser. I don't understand. So, Betty, welcome back. Like, do you think I'm, like, mad or something? I'm just saying how it is. I feel like sometimes people think me calling them out means I'm, like, angry or offended or something. When in reality, it's just me confronting them for saying something shitty. Can you ask me something? Sure. Kyle Edgar Weston Carter is one of the greatest of all time. What rank am I? 1v1 right now? GC1. YOLO Darky RL is a goat. What a bad day of Rocket League, man. Your bronze three? An actual real bronze? It really is just one of those days, bro. Bro, that day I played so insane gaming was one of the most insane hoops lobbies I've ever played in my entire life. It was me and so insane gaming versus broccoli nipples and hot creamy blast. <laughs> that, that was genuinely one of the most insane lobbies I've ever been a part of. Can you join me? Nah. You're bad this game? Same. It was a Hall of Fame lobby. They're all there. So insane gaming. All three of those names are from the same lobby.
dude. Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking serious? I'm gonna actually fucking crash. That was one of the most unbelievable plays I've ever seen in my life. On what planet do I look like tenacity? Are we on fucking Mars? That's brutal cross. This person is actually hard throwing right now. I'm not even lying. What league am I in? What? What's up, Zachariah? Did I say your name? I did not know. <laughs> Eduardo RLLFT. What makes his name even better is he wasn't PC. So that was his console name. That's what makes his that's what made his name even better. I'm actually rendered speechless. Dude, the, the bonehead and the other one were on my team, Angry Bunny. They were, those were my two solo queue 2v2 teammates like two years ago. That was a generational lobby too. That was an insane solo queue threes lobby. And the best part is I was like 1800 and threes. And they were both like fucking 15. One was like 1500 and one was 1600. That made it even better. There was just so much about that that made it generational. I. It's fun flipping there. I played that guy in 1v1. Dude, uh, there's just nothing that can do that game. I'm actually being trolled by by teammates today, unfortunately. Crazy. I cannot believe this motherfucker had the balls to say that. I need y'all to, I know y'all were like chatting and probably didn't get to witness this enough. 
Please, please watch the gameplay from this game. I'm begging you to watch the gameplay from this game. Thanks for the follow, Dante. Please watch this motherfucker's gameplay. If you think I'm exaggerating. This is, this is their first goal. That's their first goal, by the way. That's, that's goal number one. Let's check out goal number two. Oh, this play is actually fucking unbelievable. Wait, is it this one? It's front flipping around the field. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. They scored after that. Oh wait, no, no, it is this play. Look at this. So he he does this. He he approaches this like an actual fucking artificial intelligence. He then dunks my touch, grabs the mid boost, grabs that boost too, and passes mid to them. That's two, we're two goals, by the way. I literally couldn't believe my fucking eyes when this happened. He, by the way, he called me a fake SSL and that I sucked, by the way. This guy. Let's check out the third goal. Okay, I missed this. Valid. Obviously, I, I, I backflipped. I shouldn't have missed this. But let's check out what he does. This isn't real. Like, this isn't real. This guy must have been drunk. Like, this isn't a real player. Bro, the, look at these three times we got scored on. We're losing two to three. That's whatever. He got bumped. Like, he fucking gra- Dude, off this, he grabs the corner boost when I'm off kickoff, and then he d challenges us too late, gets beat, and I can't do anything. Bro, what the fuck is this? That's fair on that one? Bro, did you see this one? This one's probably worse. Okay, that one's really bad. But th look at this one. This one's probably worse. Like, in total. He approaches this like a fucking robot, misses the open net because he kind of gets bumped, dunks my touch to the side, grabs the corner boost, and then passes it mid to them. Like, that is unbelievable. And then this is how they scored the first goal. Takes the ball up the backboard, gets a horrible first touch, front flips at it, gets beat, and then... This motherfucker's 1,600! Like, uh, that, I might actually make a... I might actually make content out of that. That's how fucking horrible it was.
And then he had the fucking balls to call me a fake SSL and said I was carried. And that's and that's why we lost. That is literally uncarryable. That is not a motherfucker that is carryable. Nah, Hotbox Toyota is like low-key kind of like delusional with the way he talks about shit. That was genuinely unbelievable. Clearly, Bridge. I don't, I do, bro, I do not roast the shit out of every teammate. The only reason I'm roasting that motherfucker and saved that replay and watched it is because he fucking called me delusion. He called, so I called him delusional, but he said I was carried and bad in a fake SSL. Like, for no, I, because I said forfeit. That's actually insane. I do not roast every teammate like that at all. The only reason I, I roasted that guy to that capacity was because he was fucking being a delusional toxic fuck first. I did, all I said was fucking forfeit. I didn't quick chat all game. I didn't say anything. I just said forfeit. I look gay. Wow. Fucking Sherlock Holmes in YouTube chat. I haven't played with or against Hotbox Toyota in so long. My last experience with my last experience with him was me rinsing him in a one v one, and he forfeit like a forfeited at three thirty. Are you gay again, fucking Sherlock Holmes? He pops on my t on my TikTok for a U page sometimes, but that's just his lives. I mean, bro, I've been like GC two, GC three area, so is he even lower than that? I mean, yeah, people like Hotbox Toyota literally find a way to blame their teammate for every single loss and just, like, kind of never take accountability. Nice Eclipse. Not getting the ball or the bump there, huh? Leaving my team. Okay. I mean, it's robotic defense, but. I still should have done better in the challenge. I left my teammate in not the best spot. That's crazy, Cross. How the hell does someone like that have the balls to make roast content like that? I mean, like, even like, even if like pros were doing content like that, it'd be fucking really cringe, obviously. But like, ooh, that was almost an accidental plan B. But the fact that like someone who's like a fucking GC1, GC2 peak is doing that is like so cringe. It's like, I don't even know. Like, bro, have you seen your own gameplay? 
Bro, I remember he made a whole ass video roasting a mill. And a mill's like literally been a 2k SSL. And I'm pretty sure ends almost every season SSL. And yet and Hotboxer is making like fucking roast content about him in a fucking 2v2 game. Yeah, it's so wild. I'm pretty sure M Emil is like SSL every season and like actually grinds Rocket League consistently. I think you answered your own equ question, Eclipse. I believe in you. You got this, Eddie. Oh my god. I thought that was going to bounce fucking more mid. My bad. Still stupid, stupid, stupid. Holy shit, I can't believe I saved. Doesn't matter. Just one of those days, man. Just one of those days. Feels so bad. I can't catch a fucking break, I swear. I could have scored that. I'd, I knew they were going to leave it like that. Go, 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 go. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Wait, this is good. Score that. What in the actual nutsack? That worked. That worked. Bro, it is actually just one of those fucking days, huh? Bro, it is actually just one of those fucking days where I'm gonna lose every single close game and then just win games like that in like the dumbest fucking ways that I should not win. All right, I'm gonna win one more than play Elden Ring for a little bit. Are there any Elden Ring enjoyers even awake anymore? Would you like to watch about the drink, Cal? Austin? Oh, okay. All right. We got some on YouTube chat, too. All right. I'll play some Elden Ring. I definitely got to go pee, though. I haven't got up for four and a half hours. Hannah, too? Okay. Let's go. All right. I'll play Elden Ring. Bright is only saying that because he's fucking selfish and going to fall asleep. And Majid. It's like, no, please don't play Elden Ring. Please don't touch the ball. Yeah, maybe you should have. I didn't see that insanely gamer challenge coming my way. What's up, Stormy? Do I remember you? Kinda. out of my net. Let's go. 
I know. I'm like, I'm doing it. I'm streaming five hours a day, but in like the fucking weirdest way possible. Hi, Lemmy. That's what they get. I need to do better at punishing shit like that every time, Cal. On oh, God. I don't do a good enough job. I'm good then. What rank are you? I'm gold too. Like, part of the reason why I've been so inconsistent in Rocket League is I'm not doing the simple stuff consistently enough and it's driving me crazy. Like, punishing bad challenges and stuff. It's really frustrating. Like, my mechs are probably, like, the best they've ever been. But my consistency on the simple stuff is not even close. Safe. Can I play with you? No, I'm just solo queuing. Should be an easy save. Somehow it's not. Somehow we're just having trouble aerialing to the backboard. Yeah, I know, Cal. Driving me crazy. We cannot 1v1, sorry. Just playing ranked right now. I tried so hard. Okay, nice. I tried so hard to get that down as much as I could, but I'm glad it was still cool. Nice, good kickoff. Faking? Aww. It feels so good to get a fake like that and, and they just flip right by the ball. Oh. Bro. Oh my fucking god, bro. T okay, 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 okay. All good, all good, all good. All good. Oh my god. Okay. I'm ongoing. I can't take it. Get me out. I give up. What a fucking horrible game. Horrible fucking kickoff and I own goal it. Did you join now? Great. I'm actually getting quite tilted. Oh my god. I almost cooked. What's up, Nilkan? How are you?
How does he know that? It's like a tracker thing that tells you. Open that. That last little touch got him. Okay. Open net full boost. Now I'm motivated to win. Should be a free save, nice. Baking this. Oh, I could have scored that. Bro put it on a platter for me. Of course. Actual traffic cone defense. Not really a good game, unfortunately. No offense by this, but I'm going to make a wild assumption. Are both of your parents in your life? It's a common transphobic, homophobic stereotype that queer people don't have a father. Is your father in your life? No offense, though. Not a tough one to lose, but what are you gonna do? If I'm in those defensive spots, I'm saving it. What's my story? I'm playing Rocket League. If someone says no offense, begins or ends a sentence with it, you know what they said's offensive. No offense, but you're pretty fucking disgusting looking. What's up with that? It was a genuine question? Hmm, I wonder what, what made you ask that question? Just curious? No reason at all? People are too soft these days, too sensitive. Bro, what are you talking about? Again, I feel like people mistake me calling out people for their bullshit for, like, sensitivity or softness. Like, that's not what it is. Being called out for saying something fucking dumb is not me being sensitive or soft. It's me fucking calling you out on your bullshit. Like, I'm, there's no offense there. I'm not taking any offense. The Patriots shirt? Yeah, I'm from... Northeast, baby. Patriots fan. I missed an open that. Oh my god, I'm gonna start crashing out. Mm. 
Now I'm trolling. Deep breath, we're good. Reset the Rocket League mentals. That's funny because that challenge has made it even harder for his teammate. Luckiest team I saved that. Hmm. Score that. Score that. Shoot that. Score that now. No. Bro. I don't like that. I'm cooked. Wait. I guess they didn't realize I had no boost. I'll take it. Ah. Swear that. It's open. Nice. Okay. 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 The regain is here. Fast underscore RLL just rated with 118 viewers. Oh no, bad pop. Yo, fast RL, wait. Is this my old rank B goat? Thank you. That's your old rank B goat, bro. <laughs> Those rank B Qs were crazy. <laughs> I was like fucking three years ago now. Oh, it's funny I remember that. Thank you very much for the raid. I appreciate it. I hope you had a good stream. Thanks for spreading the love, bro. I appreciate it. Oh, man. I don't remember who was on our team, but I remember we were like, we weren't like purposely trolling you, but you're definitely getting messed with a little bit too hard. Sorry about that. Oh, bad read. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Have a good one, bro. <laughs> <laughs> have a good night thank you again very much for the raid shout out to fast shout out to fast thank you very much for the raid and spreading the love I do appreciate the kindness and I uh, I appreciate all the gamers in here vibing and stuff don't forget to drop a follow if you'd like I'd be streaming Rocket League and Elden Ring and all that stuff. Oh my. Ay, ay, ay.
My blood fang build? I, I switched to a new build. I've been using... Uh, I just got the Dark Moon Greatsword, so I respect to a dark... To um, a strength intelligence build. How old am I? 58. Do I know The Greatest by Billie Eilish? I don't. Looking damn good for 58, yeah. I use sunscreen. I put I put The Greatest by Billie Eilish in the queue. Let's hear it out. Hi, by the way. Hi, Simba. Hi, Hen Dude. Hope y'all are having a good night. Paps the goat? I wish. You're the goat. You suck. You know that. Bro, I just got raided by a Rocket League stream. I gotta play a couple more games. Unlucky timing. Go for a ceiling reset, flip reset. Um, I'm definitely getting sniped right now. It's the second time that's happened. What's up, Zip? How are you? Double reset? Ooh. I wasn't the cleanest shot, but ceiling. What's up, Alina? What's my rank? Uh, flat three right now. Zekker, thank you for the follow, let's go. Sure, they're pretty good. I'm the best play you've ever seen. Yeah, I just work on my mechs a lot. For like, oh, who the fuck said they were missing Diaper Dan? Oh my fucking god, you summoned him. Who said that? There's no way, he's sniping me. Oh my god, bro, I gotta be scoring that. And that's a goal. That hurts, man. Honestly, I feel like I delayed Musty too much, though. I gotta be doing regular Musties more often. Wow, bro. Tough start of the game, man. That open net's gonna haunt me, huh? I'm getting bullied this game, dude. What the flip and flip? The song is nice, by the way. I listened to this whole album, but I'm not the best at remembering songs by name unless I really like them. It's a good song, though. I like Billie Eilish. It's a good album. Bro, Diaper Dan, actually a goat. Angle over just rated with 16 viewers. Yo, my goat, Angel. How are you? How is your stream? I literally just got rated by Fast. 
How are you? How are you? Shout out Angel. The back-to-back -back raids, pretty much. I hope your stream was great. Shout out Angel. Thank you. Good, you deserve that, motherfucker. Get him, Diaper Dan. Nice. W raid, you hit 1900 yesterday? Nice, W. Once you learn to delay Musty, you can't hit a regular. Yeah, I'm telling you, I delay Musty too much. Like, I don't know why. It's just like become like, I feel like I've been like doing it too much in free play and whatever. It's like kind of messed me up for my regular Musties. Minecraft? Bro, I've never played Minecraft before. Hell no. Oh, Bright's told you to tell you say that shit. Never gonna happen. Well, not never gonna happen, but not happening anytime soon. I finally I finally been playing Elden Ring and I've been loving it. Maybe Minecraft be the same way. I didn't cut that hard enough. Yo, peace out, not select. We reached our sub points goal of 110. Thank you, everyone. Huh? That's where that. Nice. It, it does feel cleaner, Maddie. Yo! I, I know, Mac, are, Minecraft's chill. Just I subscribed for four Yo. months. Sack! Thank you very much for the sub. I appreciate that. Damn, y'all are popping off. Thank you so much for all the love and stuff. Don't forget to... Uh, don't forget to drop a follow if you're liking what you're seeing here, y'all. I appreciate it, and we're on that grind. Hey, bye, Angel. Appreciate you. Love you. Thank you. Thank you for the raid. That's where that. Let's go. I'm cooking. Now I'm feeling good, bro. I like how oh by the way, thank you for thank you for letting us hit in the sub goal, by the way. Sack. I think Sack sub was the reason we got there. Thank you so much. Let's go. Dude, y'all been popping off. I really I really appreciate it. Yo, we're at six out of ten on the follow goal. Are there four people here not following that would like to follow so we get the follow goal on on Twitch? I don't know what we're at on YouTube, but if you're in YouTube. I would very much appreciate it if you drop the like on the live stream and also subscribe to the channel. Both of those things help a lot and I really appreciate it. Pops out the channel. What do you mean? I'm I'm literally setting up Diaper Dan for, for diaper shots. should be fine though yo buddha senpai thank you for the follow i appreciate that let's go seven three three followers left three followers left can we do 1v1 no i'm just playing right now you'll jump to twist to follow me yo let's go tristan thank you you subscribed and liked let's go appreciate that appreciate that thank you for the sub sloth man yo let's go wait what do we got on youtube i'd never check that shit we are at 47 likes on YouTube. Can we get three more likes? Three more likers on the YouTube stream to get to 50? That's actually crazy. Three more likes for 50 on YouTube and three more follows for the follow goal on Twitch. We're popping. We're, we're gaming. Great gameplay. Thank you. I literally have been actually on a win streak right now somehow. 
I've won two in a row. Not really a streak, but. Give me Diaper Dan again. That's my goat. You want to hear some lore about this Azel guy? I was playing off stream last night and he like randomly said, hey, Pops, you got to pull up the, uh, the win loss tracker or win loss record against me. And like, I obviously don't know who this person is. I do now, kind of, obviously. And I was like, what? I was like, do I know you friends? And then he didn't answer. And then I ended up winning the game. And then he said, that's the first time I've ever lost to you. And I was like, bro, it's kind of crazy that like, I don't know who you are and you're keeping a win-loss tracker against me. Like, what the hell? And after I said that, he left. And then I played against him again next game and then beat him again. How embarrassing is that? Schlag claimed I had never beat him before. And then right after he said that, I beat him twice in a row. D1 hater shit on oh, God. Hi, Cap. Hi, Tilling Mango. I do remember you. Yo, thanks for this. Thanks for the sub, Sir Beer. Oh, what's up, Zip? I see you. How you been, Cap? And then earlier today, I ended up playing with him, and I I got like 1,200 points, and we won. He didn't say shit. He's left. Okay, we're good, we're good. I've been on a good streak, so I'm feeling good about a comeback here. Oh, that's not the touch I wanted. Feels bad. It's fine now, I guess. A little bit scary. Unscathed. You got that, yeah? Rent free. It's crazy to keep a win loss record on like a random ass person that you don't even actually like know. Like, I don't even keep win loss records against my friends. I don't know. It's weird. <laughs> this is a weird. This is a weird ego thing. Nice. We got this. Let's go. Let's see some comp matches. Wait, have you? Do you think this hasn't been comped the whole time? Enjoy playing the game. What have you been playing? I've been playing Elden Ring a lot recently. I have like 30 hours passed to an Elden Ring. I've been really enjoying it. I'm so cooked, bro. What the fuck are you talking about, V? What? I'm going for that like that is crazy. It's not gonna go up, is it? Nice. Lip reset! Musty? I guess I guess it's kinda cool that he thinks I'm like notable enough to keep a win loss record against. I'm just some random shitter, ultimately. That keeps us in the game, baby. He might take me to get a clear here, though. Spawn for me. I'm so cooked. Nice. Spawn for me. Let's go, teammate. 
Fuck. It's got a teammate. I'm going to pass this to you. Ay, ay, ay. A little bit too slow. What the? Let's go. We take that. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I'm, it's, a, my, it's my first time ever playing a Souls like, too, Calf. Core Keeper? I never heard of it, but if you're enjoying it, it's pretty cool. It's always nice to find, like, hidden gems like that. No! I should have expected the quick chow there. I was trying to be smart in control. Let's go, teammate. You got space and boost. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. Nice try. It's a pretty, pretty good attempt at a shot, I can't lie. Keep the pressure! Okay, maybe not like that. Wait, this is good, this is good. I wish I could have like somehow shot that. My teammate got the bump and everything. Tough, man. Fucking tough. That's real. I mean, I'm not really a big single player enjoyer, but like Elden Ring has like captivated me. I'm going to hop on Elden Ring after this game. I only played a couple more because I got uh, a couple of Rocket League raids. But I'm going to hop on Elden Ring for a little bit. Oh, maybe I shouldn't. If... I don't know. I don't know. If I play Elden Ring, I'm going to stay up so late. No, I should probably get off. I'm going to get off. I'm going to be smart. I'm going to make the executive decision and get off. I can't. If I play Elden Ring, I'm going to... It's already 6 a.m. No, I can't. I got to get off. I need more of your MMR. Bro, you realize you've beaten me once in like the last two days, right? And I also literally boosted you earlier. I literally got 1200 points and carried you to a free win. You should be fucking saying thank you. Hi, Teddy. Bro, I got 1,200 points and you had like 400. What do you call that? So that's why you keep a win-loss record against me, huh? You lurk my stream like a little, like a little fan. That's pretty cool. You knocked me out of RLCS? Damn. It's crazy you think like beating me is enough an accomplishment to remember all this stuff. And I literally didn't even, I like didn't even know who you were. You're, you're jokingly saying that, but like you are. <laughs> you keep a win loss record against me. You remember knocking me out of RLCS probably like a year ago or some shit. That's kind of crazy. I straight up did not remember you. The only reason I know you now is because of the shit you say. That's pretty embarrassing. <laughs> Good? I guess, bro. I guess notoriety is good. For being a weirdo to random people you don't know. Hi, Splash. 
You had a wall dash and scored when you're bronze three? I don't think you know what a wall dash is. Fuck. Weird chatter. It's actually, I mean, to be fair, it is pretty funny that I have, like, one-sided beef with random people who I don't know exist. I feel like that's, like, a certain kind of parasocial, right? What's up, Austin Mayer? All right. Nice. Nice. Oh, let's get past. High scopes says more about them than you, I know. It's fine. I mean, I guess I get it, kind of. What a really interesting first chat, AGC. Surely there are no bad intentions here. This game gets you motion sick. A lot of fast moving stuff, huh? That's why it's fun though. I'm missing this. I knew it. Nice. Damn scopes join right when there's ads, huh? Surely it's a reasonable first chat. No, it's not a reasonable first thing to say to any human ever. What a horrible shot, man. Fuck. Hi, Gabrielle, by the way. Oh, <laughs> he saved that on accident. Holy shit. We'll take it. I'm played. My goat. I hope everything ends up being okay, Splash. What the hell? That sucks to that sucks to hear. I'm just gonna play Rocket League and then hop off eventually. No Elden Ring. I'm gonna be smart. And I know Elden Ring will keep me on for like I know for a fact Elden Ring will keep me on for like three, four more hours. I'm sorry. I'll play Elden Ring next stream, I promise. I'm gonna make this I'm gonna make the executive smart decision. <clears throat> People are weird zip. That's why. People are weird and just can't be like respectful, normal people. Unfortunately, not everyone, but. This 
scopes going through it right now. Nice, Eddie. Archie's Eddie. Thank you for the sub on YouTube. It's unlucky. I only play three minutes of ads every hour. So, Scopes, you got really unlucky and, and joined right when the ads played. You got the Rocketeer title. Nice. I remember when getting level 75 in Rocket League, like before free to play, was like low key kind of sick. And that was like the max level, right? Was it the max level? Was 75 or whatever the max level in Rocket League? Could you go above that? I don't know if you could. I don't think they added that to like after free to play, right? Or was it before? I know it was before free to play, I'm pretty sure, actually. I think. AJC, why are you fucking weird? That's my question to you. I'm going to answer your question with a question. Why are you fucking weird? Why don't you have basic respect for human beings? You're gooning to this? That's really weird. What's up, TTV XTX? How are you? What's up, Eclipse? Less of a question more than an insult? No, it's a question. It's a question like yours is a question. It's a rude one. That's like not a normal thing to ask a stranger as your first chat. What about hi? What about hello? What about enjoying the stream and just vibing? Instead of, um, what's in your pants? Bro. Hi, I learned how to speed flip. Because I trained it for like two weeks. Miss, miss. Now that's weird. It's literally the same question. Like there's never been a time in my entire life where I thought walking up to a complete stranger and asking them, hey, um, I'm a little bit confused. Are you male or female? I've never thought that that was not a weird thing to say. Like, yeah, it's just a question, but, like, there's clearly questions that are very weird to ask a stranger. I think we can both agree on that. It's, again, bro, I, un I don't understand why people take me calling them out for saying weird as, like, a touchy subject. It's not touchy. I'm just calling you out for bullshit. I'm not offended. It's not weird, bro. You're, like, the 7 billionth person to say the same thing. I'm just calling you out on the off chance you actually learn and grow as a person. It's not a touchy subject at all. I talk about my identity and, and shit all the time on stream. It's just when people come in with their first chat being that, it usually is not in good faith or a good thing. It's usually followed up by someone saying some pretty fucked up shit. Almost always.
My teammates got that. Nice. Great save. Good pass. Should be GG. Nice, nice, nice. Speed flip. I feel like the biggest part of speed flip that people don't get is the automatically flip canceling. I don't know. Do you understand how embarrassing it's going to be for you if you lose Azel? I don't know if I got two on this. There's no way he meant to pass that. Nice. Oh yeah? Oh, faking, 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 faking. That's what I wanted. Faking. That, was, that time I actually fake though. He doesn't put those on target. My teammate needs boost. It's fine. He grabbed the mid in the corner. shot for me. I'm telling you, man, my, the little stuff and like punishing mistakes. I'm just not doing a good job at it today. I'm being so inconsistent at that shit. It's driving me crazy. Oh, I was trying to pass to my teammate, but he didn't see the vision. Teammate gets dusted there, it's fine. Uh oh. That's not in right. Tough man. Wait, who scopes? Nice. No. I get, wait. Oh my god. And then he pinches it so hard. Oh man. This might be cooked. Hold on. Hey, it's me, Goku. This might be cooked. Wiz me. What's good? Thank you for the follow on Twitch. I appreciate that. Yeah, GG, I guess.
why are bubble players called bubble players instead of semi pro? I don't know, it's just terminology. Your SSL finally? Oh my god, you're the goat. What's up, Turtle? How are you? I, yeah, that kind of makes sense. Yeah, what Cap said, like bursting the bubble. That's a good point. Aza, I love how you can like sit here and brag. When technically we're even over the past two days. Congrats though. You can add those to your notebook. Add those to your notebook uh, win-loss records of me. Write it down, bro. That's so brutal. Game will be dead before then, Scopes, let's be real. Either way, it's still cringe, obviously, Azo. I can't lie. It's all good, though. So. I obviously really don't care that much. Zen ain't good no more? That's not true. Why is Zen not good anymore? Zyra, me and you fucking both. So many of my twos games have just been like out of my hand, bro. I get like fucking one of the one of the games I had earlier was like actually genuinely unbelievable. It was like my teammate dead ass, like my teammate dead ass, like own gold basically three times and then blamed me and said I was a fake SSL. Dude, I won with Diaper Dan too. Holy shit. Are you me? You're me. This guy. Wait, someone's being a problem? Hey, it's me, Goku. I don't think anyone's being a problem, are they? Who's being weird? Is someone being weird? I am killer. You know what? Hey, Azel, if you follow me, the beef's forgiven, bro. If you follow me and get that follow goal, the beef's in the past, bro. I'll take it. We can we can move on, turn a new leaf, and become homies. Diaper Dan's actually a goat. Wait, are you serious? You found out Impo stopped playing the game? Wait, no, what? Why? Oh, it's in Twitch. It's in Twitch, Splash. That's so sad. Impo was so good. Why did he give up? Bro, he was literally going to go to college, CRL, with a, with a scholarship. Does he at least still do that, bro? It's free money for him. That's actually so sad. Impo was so good, bro. I was, like, rooting for him. If you want to see all my peaks, just do command peak. That's all my peaks and ranks. That's like that's like post free to play. I don't consider my peaks pre free to play like kind of real to be honest.
Can some uh, can Ahmad add that to the command, please? Just like do like in parentheses like post FTP. What about my peaks? I'm just saying it's only my peaks like since free to play happened. Does it really matter? I guess not really. It's not like my peaks were that much higher before free to play. I got like, I got like a little bit over 2K in threes. I'm not even sure if I ever even got into 900s and twos. I think I did, but I'm not sure. So I can't really count it. Ones, I definitely peaked higher post free to play. I think the highest I got in 1v1 before free to play was like 1350. Oh fucking K, man. Not sure that's TOS. Wait, what? What's not TOS? Please don't cuss. My fucking bad, I won't anymore. Uh. Dude, you can't make this shit up, bro. We are just winning three to one. This is so troll. Team Israel or Team Palestine? I think it's a fucking team sport, bro. What the fuck is wrong with you? That's actually crazy. True scopes, yeah. Either way, I think like post free to play is better. What's up, the twins? What's up, Discharge Sniffer? How are you? What are peaks? Great, bro. I guess I was going to lose anyways. This is pretty much how my night's been going, honestly. be playing Elden Ring today. And they go up by two on forfeiting. try them. I'm probably going to get started getting demoed and stuff pretty soon. It's my prediction. Yeah. 
Really cool, bro. It's whatever. Honestly, I kind of don't want to forfeit just because they're being really cringe. I'm just still going to forfeit. I don't feel like wasting my time. God, bro. 2v2, I'm winning this game 12-0. Feels so bad. All right, winnable. That hurts. Miss it, you suck. Yeah. They go up by two again, I'm quitting. Yeah. <sighs> Tough. Worth the effort. Sounds like me discharge sniffer. I'd be sleeping in. At least because that guy abandoned, there's no chance of him being on my team, so that's good. We're getting a threes game anyways, I guess. Faking. I know. Wait, you didn't. I played against him. I played against him in twos earlier, Cal, and I beat him because he owned gold. That felt pretty good. Kind of want to trying to get better. No, sorry. Unless you get channel points on Twitch. It'll be funny because I'm going to beat him in twos and then also beat him in threes. Do you think it'll make him do any like self-reflection or, or no? I'm sorry, Splash. That's really, I, I really hope everything ends up being okay, by the way. That shit fucking sucks, dude. I can't wait till we're at a time in the world where cancer is literally just another fucking disease that has an easy cure. Probably not. We'll probably just say I got lucky or something. Lower rank players, like, 
when they're delusional like that. Just like, I feel like they think SSLs are like pros and they're gonna be like absolutely like hard carrying anyone regardless. Oh, it's a bet. Never mind. <laughs> I said that was a bad touch and then I do that. <laughs> okay. I'll take it. But for some reason, lower rank players just like, I feel like don't really understand what SSL actually is. And they're like will unwilling to accept that the skill gap between like, even like GC1 and SSL is massive. So they'll just like, I don't even know be very delusional about their own gameplay well bro i mean it's just a fact like the difference between simply being a supersonic legend player and pro is like dude it's still like night and day like it's still a massive skill gap Like, I don't know if the skill gap between GC1 and SSL is the same as SSL and Pro, but it's honestly pretty close. It pro probably is, to be honest. I'll rank it by in threes. Right now, this is GC1, I think. Well, dude, lower rank players think SSLs are like freestylers. When in reality, most of the freestyler clips they see are like against like fucking plats, bro, if that. Like you're watching someone beat up on lower rank players. Some people just have good ranked play style scopes. Ever shite get relegated? I used to. I low-key used to actually be a little Everton fan. Back when I would play like FIFA like fucking 11 and shit, I would like use Everton because they had some players that I thought were good, fun to play with in FIFA. But honestly, I don't even remember their names now. They had, um, did I, Everton had Fellaini at one point, right? True, Cal. I think that's why I liked Everton, because they had Fellaini. Damn, so I lost with Astros. I beat him in twos, and then I just beat him in threes. Huh. Interesting. Ryan got up for five and a half hours. Okay. I'm going to take a quick little break and then end up stream playing a couple more games, but then I'm going to hop off. No, I wasn't doing today. All right. I'll be right back. I'm not a Chelsea fan, by the way, if that's what you're asking me. Arsenal fan. Um, I'll be, I'll be back. Bathroom break, get up, stretch, all that stuff. BRB, BRB. We're at one follower away on Twitch, by the way. One follower away from the follow goal.
Okay, I'm back. How many times are England fans going to say football's coming home until they realize it's not coming home? Wait, was I right about Fellaini being on Everton? He was right. Yeah, bro. I I literally, you. I literally like fell on any before he was like popping off and went to Man U. That's why I like would use Everton. I was like, oh my god, this guy's like freaking tall. I think one of the one of the FIFA's spamming crosses in and going for headers was like part of the meta. So I would just use Fellaini. All right, we've been winning some games. Let's keep it up, hopefully. Let's regain at least some of the MMR. Was FIFA 23 cross-heavy? Like, there was one FIFA scopes, like, probably before your time of playing FIFA, like FIFA 12 shit, where, like, just swinging in crosses and, and putting tall players in the box was a goal, like, half the time. How do I not remember it being cross heavy? I'm not gonna lie, my time with FIFA 23 is a blur. FIFA 10, I remember finesse shots were so fucking OP. There were like in FIFA 10 with finesse shots, you could like finesse it from like 35 yards out and the ball would just go like a fucking like an actual physics defying shot <laughs> okay bro Cr cow that's like when I run into like the random like fucking 11 30 1v1 player that's like fucking triple resetting on me from from his backboard that shit hurts my soul. That's a brutal way to get scored on. Like, honestly, it's probably, like, you probably will get better at the game. Actually, I don't know. Like, playing 1v1 to win, I feel like objectively will make you better at the game. But the thing is, sometimes when people play to win, they do it in, like, a way where they're just being so boring that, like, it's holding them back. What's up, Jahan? Like, people people will play boring to an extreme where it makes their gameplay extremely one-dimensional and it only works in 1v1. Does that make sense? Like, I think the best way to play 1v1 is to have a play style that will actually work in other playlists and not just... Unless you, like, are specifically trying to be 
a great 1v1 player, obviously. Like, that's a different thing. But if you're trying to get better, your best way to play 1v1 would be to play like you're playing in twos or threes. Obviously to a less extent, but I should have scored that. Yeah, this guy has macro quick chats. Splash daddy. Splash is really nice. Splash is one of those people that like make streaming on YouTube so worth it. Like, yeah, YouTube chat can be toxic sometimes, but there are genuinely so many times where there's cool ass fucking people that I would not have met if I didn't stream on YouTube. Not you. No, you are too. But we, you were talking about Splash, so. I was just piggybacking off what you said. Pretty much everyone that's that still hangs out with my Twitch chat. Or, sorry, YouTube chat. Like, I'm glad I met y'all. Like, streaming on YouTube has genuinely been a very rewarding experience overall. You know. Regardless of, like, the fucking weirdos that ha that come in sometimes those guys are you know they get banned they're dead and buried who cares they leave my mind two minutes after they're banned no i know especially in the vertical streams because like a lot of my discovery like the reason i do vertical stream is because a lot of the discovery is to the shorts feed which obviously has a lot of viewers. And unfortunately, in general, I feel like vertical content, the majority of the enjoyers are our children. It's like, honestly, the audiences of vertical viewers are probably similar across Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. It's obviously not the case for everyone, clearly, but it's still so worth it. Like it's been it's been great for my YouTube growth. I've met so many cool people. Definitely W overall. Oh, let's go, Eclipse W. Yes, I remember you, Stubby. That could be your thing. Exactly, yeah. Hidden people don't necessarily know they're hidden, which I think is pretty funny on YouTube. I don't think that guy's boost. definitely doesn't wait does it no he doesn't nice good night hannah love you appreciate you as always Fucking God, man. This game started off so good, too, bro. That's fucking sucks fucking balls. God fucking damn it, dude. Oh, all good, all good, all good, all good. That hurts so bad, bro.
do not like to see that. Losing in these lobbies sometimes takes a little piece of my soul. My heart is like the Elden Ring shattered into different runes. Is that even how the Elden Ring works? I'm not going to lie. I don't know. I kind of just made that up. Like that, I feel like that makes sense. But I, I don't know if that's actually true. Eclipse, my community in general, I feel like is on average. It's a really bad touch for my teammate. Um, on average, I feel like my community is pretty, pretty old, especially for a Rocket League community. Like, I feel like the overwhelming majority of my community is 18 plus. Dare I say 20 plus. I definitely don't like cater to children. My stream is in a daycare center. I mean, you're 18 plus, so. Insane challenge. Maybe I gotta start a challenge like that in threes, bro. Works against me. People just pre-jump flying at a ball they have no business going for. That shit clearly works. Maybe I just suck. Is that what, t once you get to 20, are you considered unk? I didn't know that. Your deaf unk status. How old are you, Calf? You're out of college already, right? Oh my God, right at him. 25? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You're an unk for real. Can you tell if you're valid? About what? Or just in general? If you mean in general, yeah, obviously you're valid. The hell? You're valid as fuck. Well, I'm sorry you had a rough week, Spartan, but I promise you, you're valid, you're worth it, and you're awesome. And you're a very nice person, as far as I know you. Wow, man. These games are fucking tough. You finished your Rocket League session? Nice. Oh god, is it gum or some shit? Gum in the hair is brutal. Just go in, please. Nice. Kids always find their way into the fucking grossest shit. Go, 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 go. 
how does that result in us getting scored on? Genuinely, how? Uh. <laughs> Cap, have a good night. I appreciate you. Thanks for hanging out for a little bit. I, I don't even know. I demo one guy twice and bump a second, and somehow the, my teammates lose a 1v2 and get scored on. Alright. I think we're going to cap the stream at six hours after this next game. I'll spread love to someone else. Is this guy's joke like? The name is exactly he's making. Oh my god, splash, brain rot. Smokes, bro came back around for round two. Oh, I almost full trolled that. Still a troll touch. And I missed the beast. It's okay, Scopes. He said nighty night. Splash is married <laughs> and has kids. That's crazy, Splash. I don't really talk about politics that much. It definitely takes over certain segments of stream. But most of the time, we're not. Wow, what a brutal, brutal, brutal sequence of events. Hi, Warmer. How are you? Oh, splash. Freaky splash moment.
Bye, Scopes. Appreciate you. Love you. Get your sleep. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah, I kind of fucked that up pretty bad. Real shit, Splash. off I wish every smurf account got like the person hardware banned for like a year on God. I don't know how else you fix the smurfing problem. I guess you could just like delete the accounts and keep their mains. Honestly, I wouldn't even mind if there was no consequences as long as the smurf accounts just like were deleted. One day, well actually no, I don't think Rocket League's ever gonna accurately address this smurfing alt account problem to be honest. I don't think they just, I just don't think they really care. I like, I like how they're like trying to act out to the fact. I spelled embarrassing wrong. It's just two Smurf accounts. Damn. It's tough. Unironically, Rocket League would be such a better game if the ult and Smurf account problem was fixed. I can't lie. It, like, genuinely... It genuinely ruins the game experience for way too often, that's for sure. Unlucky. Um, I'm gonna hop off now, then. Let's hit a double reset before you hop off. Hit a nice little clean one. report this person to.
Will anything get done? Probably not. Alright, let me actually focus. I couldn't have just finished that, huh? Knob head. You're so British. I got greedy in for a triple reset. I love when this happens. Smeg head? Smeg head is outrageous. I've never heard that before. Kind of goes hard though. All right, that was horrible, but I don't care. I'm ending it. All right. Thanks for vibing. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Thank you so much, YouTube. Again, YouTube, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't done it yet. Um, I appreciate the support. Thank you so much. And yeah, I love you. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. See you next stream at some point later today slash tomorrow. Bye. Love you. Bye. Okay. Twitch's turn. Let's raid someone. Yo! The last minute clutch from Sean Likes RL. My goat with the follow. Damn. You, dude, you just got the follow goal the last second before stream. W. That means we got the sub goal and the follow goal today. Hell yeah. That's my goat. All right. We're going to raid Ryan. Okay. Like I was saying, I love you. I appreciate you. Have a good um have a good rest of your morning, afternoon, night, whatever time it is for you. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the follows. Thanks for the subs. Thanks for supporting. And yeah, overall, I mean, not a great Rocket League stream, but overall good stream. I, I today was just a tough Rocket League sesh. I mean, it was bound to happen, right? I started off this season too good. You're bound to have a bad day. This is unfortunately how it is. But show Ryan some love. Drop him a follow. Rocket League sucks, honestly. I should have just played Elden Ring. Real shit. But show Ryan some love. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I'll see you next stream. Or don't forget to join my Discord if you want to hang out there. Uh, 18 plus though. Anyways.